All right, everybody. Hey, we are back with another episode of D and D for Normies. Oh my gosh, it feels like forever because it has been because life has been insane for all of us. Um, hey, how's it going? Uh, how's it going, everybody? How are you all doing? Doing great. Yeah, Pixie, you're in your new space. I yeah. see you've got a cute cat bed. Or is I that am. Bed? You no, know, it's a cat bed. For sure, just cats. Yeah, cat bed, just cat toys, cat. This is this is the cat room. I mean, it's like my office, but it's really it's the, the cat, cat room. room. It's Everything. the cat room. Yeah, you're just kind of subleasing from your yes. cat. <laughs> exactly. They let me put my computer in here, and that's it. That's pretty much it. How, I mean, how, it very is warm. Them. how much do you have to pay? We're not going to talk about that, okay? Oh, okay. Do they ever sit on top of your CPU because mine mine does, and we've had to like. Yes. Discourage her oh. to do that. Oh, yes. Oh, there's been then... times with Ruby, especially. Um, oh, yes. In the middle of streams and video, no less. Jumping up like, there. Why, why no. am I having quality issues? Why? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Just sitting on top of it. Yeah. Exactly. Let's see, there, you're in Ruby. your new house. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. You look very settled in. Thank you. I'm not very settled, but that's great to hear. I'm, well, that room no, looks fine. settled, at least, or at least from what we see. Yes, I've got, <laughs> I, I got this background set up. I was like, I have to make this look decent if we're going to be recording that something. One so. corner, though. Right. I like, yeah, don't, I, I, I see the one corner. Don't look over there. <laughs> don't do it. Well, let, let's introduce our players. Uh, starting with, we'll start with Pixie here. Hi, I'm Pixie Kitten. I am playing Mayor Mel Hillspear, everybody's favorite dwarf cleric. Um, and, you know, we're hoping to get into a wild party tonight and maybe, like, cook up some delicious food and all that stuff. We'll see what happens. It's going to be awesome. It's great. She's very peaceful, by the way. Yes. The most peaceful person she of the party. Loves peace. <laughs> All of she's the a, peace. She's just the cinnamon roll of the party. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> nice. Uh, next up, Michelle. Hi, I'm Michelle Rapp. I'm so glad to be back. I love playing with y'all. Um, I am playing the um, the suburban um, housewife uh, turned uh, returning back to her adventuring days. Uh, Elf, uh, Emerald Dragonborn Barbarian uh, Karenina um, who is basically trying to take down a whole multi-level marketing company um, at first by herself but now she's got friends which is very exciting for her um, and yeah she's uh, basically tracked, tracked some like really important people down for this dinner so we'll see what happens mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also she's seeing her husband again in the salon oh, exciting her aims her artificer her artificer dragon uh, uh, was amethyst dragonborn husband i think so yeah, yeah. I, i'd have to He's look it amethyst up dragonborn yeah they're so in love it's i know great. it's so cute so in love <laughs> <laughs> and then last but not least uh tony yeah so baltan. i'm tony baltan too uh and i play tellercos the formerly scholastic now very dedicated satyr monk and uh, he is ready to lend aid to his friends and try some alcohol at this party that we're getting into. You know, I'm not priorities, sure priorities. If you're, wait, though, you're going to be a sommelier. You're not supposed to drink it. You're just supposed to, like, <laughs> recommend it. I mean, you, you, you say that, but... You, a good Somalian has to know what all the stuff right. is like. They the taste it. Man. They taste it and, and then they spit it, it out. out. They spit, they spit it out. out. Yeah, they yeah. Satyrs don't need to do all the space. Oh, like that. okay. okay. That, that, that humans think, have to I do think, that. Yeah, yeah. I think That's your like ABV, Polly. Your ABV is just like always you're really high and you just it don't be, care. It could be a solid <laughs> digit. It's fine. No well, and we're not sure of the exact biology of how satyr livers work, too. True. That's true. Oh, we they do they work overtime for sure. <laughs> we, we do know they sleep fast. and they like sleep on top of dressers, which is kind of bizarre. But right, yeah. right? it's, it's, it's nice what they do. Be high. Yeah, <laughs> cats like that too, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Just imagine yeah. the first time like some some scientists like got 
a satyr into a lab and just started measuring their metabolism, their ability to digest alcohol. It's like, my God. Dear God. Amazing. <laughs> satyrs just there like, with a bodily, just, like, oh, cool. It's like that scene <laughs> from, it's like a scene from like Jurassic Park where they get out of the car and it's just like. Takes off yeah, the glasses. Take yeah, off, take off the glasses. <laughs> Very dramatic. <laughs> Love it. Nice. And then yeah. I am your DM, Zuby. And we will get on with the show for D&D for Normies. Uh, last episode, we left off. Uh, actually, we started off last episode in a fight right away where y'all mm-hmm. got jumped by some assassins and a bard. And almost, almost uh, didn't win that fight. Got got a little hairy fun. at some points. Yeah, uh, that's, that's fine. We made up for it. Yeah. yeah. Handily. And then... Y'all met up. Bonfire boys didn't help us. I know. Yeah. And then we (sighs) scored a lot of free stuff. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. Field trips, man. We did. Hell of a drug. That's right. That's right. And you get to, you got to meet a uh, new person to the party, Ariana Mornhell, who is a halfling wizard and she always smells of soap. That was one of the first things you learned about her. clean. Yeah. No no matter how dirty and no matter how many times she doesn't bathe. She always smells like soap. Great. Which is just a weird thing. I, I, and I didn't I didn't even know all those details. That's, yeah. It, okay. But it's it's part of her personality. Or mm. part of her. I don't know. Oh. It's not really a personality just, trait. It's yeah, just, it's, no, personality trait is not smelling the soap. <laughs> uh, but but she but she is an accountant and loves doing accounting or accounting and loves mm-hmm. numbers. And offered to do Karen's uh taxes back in Renisha. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, once this is over, if we're all still around, would love to take that to her up on that. That would be yeah. real great. Heck yeah! So after leaving the Forked Way Inn, you all made your way to White Peak City, and as soon as you all entered, um, not even like five ten minutes into the city, uh, Karen spotted an amethyst dragonborn who turned out to be her husband Ja Ames along with two of his co-workers, um, Marigold and Athena. Uh, and th- Karen and James reunited, and it was like being in love for the first time. They fell in love all over again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> precious. Little, little like, a dirty, that, like that dirty dancing moment. Just like, I'm lifting my husband. <laughs> Cause I had the time We're all of like, this life. is slightly awkward, but it's in the middle okay. of like a busy market. Nobody puts James in the corner. Yeah, no one puts my <laughs> no one puts uh-uh. in the corner. Oh, uh-uh. <laughs> no. no um, so James explains to Karen that uh, they are here. He managed to help invent a working airship engine that could go long distances. And they're here um, on behalf of the company that James's company uh, got bought out by Valdivian, uh, which also happened to be a subsidiary of in-house dynamics, which is owned by Bexley Walton. And Karen found out that James was invited to a really fancy dinner tonight with Bexley, along with two of his other uh, sort of cohorts, Vesuvio, whom you all might remember was the (gasps) drow wizard that uh, the gang was chasing and fought and almost killed. And then as well as Thundara Firefox, the upline manager of the MLM Panacea Panacea in a Bottle, uh, who Mm -hmm. Fira back at um, Dragonhurst, that was her upline manager, and got her roped into this. And we don't know how many other downlines is that the right word downlines that thundara um, really has ah uh, sure i don't remember yeah i can't i can't remember the 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 downlines yeah I reports are deep in I, I did. yeah well I, I i i did i did end up studying more mlms and and i listened to that one <laughs> podcast like so like sorry. when we were the dream yeah yeah because because yeah. because when we were prepping for this i i wanted to listen to I wanted to read up more MLM stuff again because, you know, I, I mean, I knew about it, but not that deep into it. So mm-hmm. it was interesting. So what you're saying is season two, we're going after crypto. Oh, oh snap. Oh, God. We'll be like the... Yeah. 
equivalent of like NFTs and crypto. <laughs> in a fantasy world. In a, we can, it's in like, a world. You, oh, you own something that is attached to something that's inside a bag of holding. Yeah, oh, here's a or... receipt that, to, that, that says that you own like this sunset. <laughs> This particular sunset. <gasps> on this date and this or, location. This and or time. isn't there some like wizard spells that can create stuff but only for like a certain amount of time? Oh, 100%. Yeah, there's a lot of that too. Look, like you, sure. you own, that's yours. Th th for, this like, is your NFT. For, <laughs> and only, and, and here's the special number they're of that mushrooms. NFT. They're non Oh, they're like. They look like mushrooms, but they're well, they're they're they're, they're mushroom shaped things. And they're like notable fungus tokens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be yep. great! Perfect. Really cool so, looking mushroom see. thing. Oh, oh, oh god, no. I don't know if I want to get into crypto bros. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're having oh. a giant meltdown right now. So. And I love it. I love it. Meltdown crypto. I mean, hey, hey, I, I, I'll admit it right here. I I got into crypto a couple years ago. I put money in and I made money and sold out. And that was it. I'm like, I'm done. I don't need oh, to. Oh no, Zuby. I, no, I had a no, friend Zuby. also who got into Bitcoin very early, sold very early, and got now has a house. Like, in yeah. Oh wow. I, I, I mean, I, I got, I got, Oops. I got into it back in 2014, 2015. Made a couple thousand. I'm like, okay, I'm done. Woo. I'm good. There you <laughs> go. I, I, good I, for I, you. I, I don't need to do any more of it. It's fine. Okay. So. Anyways. We're saying kids. <laughs> oh, don't get into it long term. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't. don't oh. it, it's dumb. It is extremely dumb. That's all I'm going to say. But hmm. anyways. Um, the cute one, the doge one, don't. Oh, God, no. <laughs> stay away from anything that that dumb idiot even talks about. I don't even want to mention his name because I hate no. him. Long muskrat? Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. He's not talking about it. Um... Anyways, so James and Karen got invited to this dinner along with their co-workers for, with Vesuvio, Thundara, and Bexley. And that is where we're going to open up where they're all trying to figure out how to get in to this dinner. Are some of them going to go in disguise? Are some of them going to wrap their faces in bandages? Or some of them going to be a wine taster? We don't know. We just don't know. Um, and we'll open it up there. Um that you all have decided that you're going to go to this dinner. It is about um, about one o'clock in the afternoon, and you, you all have about seven hours till you have to get to the restaurant. And the the dinner starts at eight o'clock sharp. And James tells Karen, we cannot be late to this thing. Heck, we better show up at least 30, 20 to 30 minutes early for this. Gotcha. I just need to know, James, did you bring your, your credit note? I was afraid you were going to ask that. Um, Can't, I didn't bring anything to go to this dinner. How can you expect me to like show up to this very fancy business dinner just in my usual adventuring gear? And I know that it's high-end athleisure, but that's just not appropriate for, for a multi-star restaurant. Now, all right, all right. Do you want the Renisha Express or the Discoverer card? Um, I'll note. take both. I'll take both. I'll just take both. Thank you so much. Love you. He, he, oh, wow. he, he, he's, <laughs> you hear him say, he's like, don't spend any more than a thousand gold. Oh, no, she's, she's gone. Mm. Right, um, like, in my wake, I just grab, I just <laughs> grab everyone else. Oh, we're going to. Cool. Do, do you get, grab Ariana get in, as well? losers we're going shopping <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh yes let's go i do, mean do, I do you get that... ariana as well because she, she's just been yeah, sitting there the grab... whole time just yeah, no she's i like... just i it's like it's like watching a tidal wave <laughs> <laughs> we're all going sweep everything sweep everyone else i've got i've got Miriam. i've got i've got uh Tullergos, i've got ariana and yeah. we're just like Going sweeping towards the door, and I and I'm on my way. I'm like, oh, by the way, where do you go shopping around here? So let me pull up the map for you all, so you all can see, and I will switch screens here for Ooh. so the audience can see this too. Um, let me. 
So, everybody... Oh, uh... Yes, I was about to say Michelle. Don't forget to log in. Um, so, where you all... You all came in from this gate here. Um, if you wow. can see where the circle is. Mm -hmm. And then, where you saw James was at this corner right here. Oh, like I wow. said, you, you guys just all walked in and not even like five, ten minutes later, you instantly saw James there. And where you're running down, you're running down this street. Um, but you've never been here before, so you're not really sure where to go for shopping. You just ran off. Okay. Um, <laughs> can we like we ask a sure passerby? Let's go ask. Yeah. <laughs> Like what? Like do what do we see? What kind of street is this that we're on? Um, this is more up for where this is. So there, so this is more of yeah. This would be more of the high. No, no, no. The other side's the higher end place. This is more. I'd say more of the middle class area. Uh, this street would be more sort of your basic shops. You know, like basic supplies like house supplies some food you know basic like adventuring supplies and clothes and stuff Not nothing as karen with you being very in touch with high high fashion you're sort of like N -n this is all very uh beneath you <laughs> i mean it, it's Everyone they're nice, to but, shop. but they're so. Everyone needs you know. to shop at a Walmart sometimes. I understand. Brand, this yeah. this stuff looks nice over here, right here. You can do that, Look at that you can do better. You can do better than that. That's you. Oh. There and I. I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble seeing. I'm like sideways in your arms. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You want to put us down, Corinne? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No. A a a Ariana, I, I like, Ariana's just, just on your shoulder, just still reading her book, like. Like Perfect. occasionally looking I, like, up, so up, every so often. I just often. walk up to some stall. I walk up to what is the equivalent of like, oh, what's it? It's not Ari. I'm, when you think adventure is I'm thinking like REI, but like clearly REI is kind of expensive. So kind of yeah. the, the more budget R the REI outlet. I go to the equivalent of the <laughs> REI adventures outlet. Like, oh, and, good day. And, and you see a, a little halfling. Uh, with the little round belly with a uh, balding brown hair, and he says, "Oh, good day. Uh, what can I do day. do you for?" Can you point me towards where this town tends to go for its most expensive shopping? Oh, you're uh, you're looking for something more fancy, aren't you? I'm looking for some. I have a very important dinner tonight. Oh. We all have an important dinner tonight, don't we, friends? <laughs> We do! We really do! And we've got a credit note, so we can spend a lot of money! Ooh, uh... Oh. But not here! This, oh. we, we're looking for some really, like, formal wear for Corinne? Some, like, where, formal wear? All of us, where, we need formal wear. Where are you all going tonight? We're going, we're going to some to a fancy, party. It's a private, it's a private party. Oh, okay, okay. Some friend's house, yeah. Ah, okay. Very one, fancy. One of the nobles' house, huh? As he touches oh, his nose. Yeah, so. yeah. Maybe. Yes. I, I would do that, but I can't, because I'm holding my friends. Ah, uh, are, are, are they ill? Are they not able to walk? No, I'm just no, very we're excited. <laughs> we're, we're, a little, we're a little bit slower. I just so. love them very much. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're comfortable. We're fine. Okay, You, you, you might want to, uh, you know, that. so there's going to be a a, a bridge um you know just down the street that way make make a left and then make a right you'll see the bridge um and then you you, you know you're gonna cross cross a few blocks that way and then go straight again and then you're gonna see a big park you're gonna go past the park and then right before you get to the gates there um you gotta show um you know actually wait no you don't have to show anything it's not a weekend um, you go, you go straight past the gates, and then right there is going to be the the White Peak Drive of the most fanciest shops that only the nobles go to. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Here you go. I tip him like five silver. Uh, he he takes it, bites into it a little bit. Like, okay, uh, thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. I Me rush too. off. I rush off. <laughs> it's just like an anime thing, like. <laughs> 
No, you can't see the legs. It's just a cloud of dust. <laughs> All right, give me a Gosh. constitution saving throw. Oh. Wait, just Corinne or all Yeah, of us? yeah, Corinne, because she's the one holding you all. And oh, okay. 18. Cool. I'm very determined. <laughs> okay, yes, 18. You are perfectly fine. You're not getting tired at all. You're just like, nope. Great. Nope, you're, you're good. You're good. So about... Okay. And then let me move over. So just so the people watching the video um, can see the, the alleyway, or not the alleyway, but the, the road I was talking about. So past these gates here, so past... The garden that's right here, and I am really up to the run. gates I, up here. I am booking it. Uh, yeah, th th this this, like this road fight. here, from from here down to like about right here is where all the fancy shops are, and you all start right. seeing the the people around are starting to look more elegant. There's plenty of high elves, drow elves, um, lots of rich looking humans, some gnomes, um, halflings, a few dwarves, not too many. Um, just, I put everyone down. We did stop for like a drink, like, like just for like the equivalent of like a lemonade. But then I'm like, okay, we're gonna go. This was <laughs> quite a bit of a way. Um, but I put everyone down. Ariana doesn't need to come down. She's cool up there. And I say, ah, all right. Now time for my favorite thing: a makey makeover. Ooh. Ariana okay, but... takes her book out. A what? Makeover. A makeover? Oh no. Am but, I gonna have to but, be involved with this? But aren't well, we gonna be like, like, wait staff? We're going to be the best looking wait staff that we can possibly put together. Okay! You're going to be wait staff in this house. You're gonna look good. Hmm. Alright. And enough. same with you, Telecos. We've gotta make you look like a real sommelier. That sounds great. I'm down. It does. Yeah. yeah. Is there, yeah, is there like this. a like a servant's livery? <laughs> servant's livery? Oh, what servants. if that's oh, not in oh. this area of the city? <laughs> because it's the oh. servants. No, no, no well, there I wouldn't be anything it's... like that. Um, ah. it just for All right, what... we'll get me done first, and then we'll go get y'all. <laughs> Perfect. All right. What is yeah. the equivalent of the Versace in this place? Um, we will call it. It's a good question. She, I'm gonna she go to. She's definitely an Italian. Like, I'm gonna go to a Italian random fashion. name generator, and whatever it gives me, that's what it's gonna be. House of insert thing here. <laughs> the house of House of Gucci. The uh, I I find I saw that movie um on one of my flights back, and that was a interesting movie. Interesting. Um, uh, Other it son, is House of Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you're gonna you're gonna immediately be drawn to a store called Drake, and it has the exact kind <laughs> of fashion that you are uh, looking for. And Ow. right right out right out the door or right outside is um or right inside the shop is this really more, most Dragonborn are pretty bulky, but this one's a little bit more skinnier, not so much bulk, and pretty tall. Yeah, very very slender, and and he's got braided blonde hair, and and he's more of a darker dragonborn, like uh, not black, but a little bit uh, not exact, not black, but I guess a few shades, not black or I guess uh, like gray. a like a black pearl or like yeah a, yeah yeah yeah, nice. and um. I'm like, if he's a black dragon, oh, no. <laughs> I don't no, want to no, 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 no. That alignment today. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks and he's like, yes, how can I help you? Oh, uh, yes. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hi. We can't drink songs. <laughs> uh, yes, it's almost as if this is a plan from God. I will go. Hello. I am looking for a wonderful... A suitable gown for a very um, a very formal occasion tonight and unfortunately as an adventure on the road you know how it is you know we pack mm, yes. pack for utility not necessarily for occasion so I would 
love to um, take a look at some of your selections. If you have any um, models on staff, I would certainly be happy to sit down and observe as they walk with the goods. Uh, my friends will also be uh, with me to uh, provide some commentary and insight. Um, they have excellent taste. Yeah. I've never okay. been to a city this big before. Okay, because we don't we don't cater to people of their size. They're too small. Oh, I mean, we're here at Drake's. I understand. I mean, these are my these are my wonderful little friends. You, you can't hmm. get clothes tailored to be oh, size for everybody. This is a very specific store for Dragonborn. It's it's just mm, yes. If you look at the if you look at the mannequins, I'm guessing that's just all Dragonborns looking really yes. fabulous. Uh, oh, all okay. Dragonborn and very tall uh, elves. This is like the equivalent of like the big and tall store. <laughs> fancy. <laughs> Like way oh, fancier, okay. way fan fantasy world. <laughs> okay. All right, so so he he goes up to you, he walks right up to you, Karen. He's like, and he's got a measuring tape around his uh, neck, and he's like, "May I?" Of course. And he goes. And I starts... take off my great axe and I hand it to <laughs> I, I I don't know is it like an assistant or something or does someone want to grab my my axe? No, no, okay. he, he he's he's the only okay. one in the store right now. All right, I give it to Mir Miral, and I I just sort of Whoa. scream. Oh, you're you're, you're strong. You got that, May? Like, don't worry. I got it. Yeah. Okay. 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 And so he he starts measuring, you know, height, width, and all the other stuff that you measure. I don't know. I'm not a dress the other maker. bits. <laughs> I I don't know what else they all measure. Um. What's so the he, extra bits like the tail. I do the circumference for sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Measures all that. And after a couple minutes of measuring, he's like, darling, follow me. Excellent. And Come now. He goes. So like complimentary champagne. Uh, and as, as, as you start walking to the back, um, to the back of the store, um, you see two smaller dragonborn that are about the height of May and um, Tellercos. Um, oh. And they appear to be younger. And he's like, uh, meet my sons, Frederick and Gondor. Um, <gasps> Hello, what beautiful children you have. Yes. Oh, you're going to grow up so well, I can tell. And they just they just bow, and um, they're both boys. Oh. And they, they and they said, uh, what do you all wish to have for drink? Is what uh, Gondor asks. Oh, it's a, what, what season is it? Is it summer? Uh, yeah, it, it's spring starting to turn into summer. Right. Um, a glass of um, best sparkling white <laughs> would be wonderful for the for the group. Okay. Perhaps a sparkling mead. All right. Oh. Uh, right away. And does anyone wish to have any uh, snacks, any hors d'oeuvres while waiting? Uh, Frederick asks. Oh, yeah. Snacks, That'd be great. Okay. Some crudités. Nothing. Nothing too fancy. We're just right. you know, yeah. visiting. And and we, right. Yeah. We'll bring out the caviar too for one of our for <gasps> someone such as you. Such as a such a wonderful pairing. Oh, I turn to um I turn to their father. You are you are raising them so well. You are to be congratulated. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Um and now for you, my lady, uh take a look at all the gowns that I have. Um <laughs> Okay, okay. I'll be I'll be honest. I I I, I don't know anything <laughs> about dresses and stuff. So, <laughs> okay. Find find guess... something you like. I, okay. Th this is where my DM usually... skills lack. Okay. Okay. You <laughs> see, hmm. personal Fine. shopper. So usually, what happens is like, uh, just based off of coloring and style and whatnot. Like, normal, just grab something. <laughs> like, grab a few selections, and then I imagine mm -hmm. like he grabs a few dresses, yeah. and then I like look at them, and then we try mm -hmm. them on. There's probably like some kind of little. Yeah, you know, like little, you know, a three panel mirror situation. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I guess the next, the next like hour, <laughs> I'm like, you know, trying on, I think, mm -hmm. three different dresses. And I imagine each of you give me deep, detailed notes about how they fit. Oh, yeah. Two thumbs up. Looks amazing. That, that looks like cloth on just, Dragonborn. Oh, yeah, that color just, is so beautiful. I, on I was thinking green, and, you know, green and gold looks so good together. So good. Looks so good. Yeah. It's 
It's elegant. It's just so tasteful. It's wonderful. Ames is going to love it. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I think we end up with like an Iris Van Herpen, which if you haven't looked up her stuff, she's very cool. You should look up her stuff. <laughs> she does things like 3D printing. This is way out of my realm, things. so I don't know. No. Like, <laughs> sorry. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Giant fashion nerd. Okay. But yeah, Iris Van. I think she ends up with like an Iris Van Herpeny looking dress with like these big ruffles that kind of almost look like fit like fins. Oh, like, okay. Almost like like kind of echo like coral and things like that, and then it kind of like cinches at the you waist. You have to send some pictures or something. Yeah, I just <laughs> looked at some like there's some wild designs. It's it's gorgeous looking, but it's crazy too. Yeah, yeah. I think like something something like. But you, if you look up Iris Van Herpen, um, I'm sure that you can find something in there that would absolutely be up her alley. <laughs> yeah, it, a lot of her work is very much just like inspired by nature, uh, by like ah. bone structure and stuff like yeah, that. I saw this so. one like oh, okay. flower, pet, like petals around it almost or something. It's like this is very. Some people look like some of them look like lionfish. It's wild. It's yeah. great. Ooh. Okay. Beautiful. Cool. Okay, so something um, Iris Van Van Herpen. Iris Van Herpen, really cool okay. designer. Check her out. Never going to be able to afford any of her stuff, but it's very cool to look at. Um, well, in this game, you'll be able to afford it. Yes. So there you go. I choose this like dress made up of a diaphanous, like iridescent gold. It's got these like big ruffles, mm. and I imagine there's also accessories there. So I pick those oh, up too. Oh yes, oh yes, like the or, purse, yes. any necklaces, rings, um, mm. earrings, any of that. I, I think because it's just got like a low V, I want to like show off the like the breastbone area. So I just grab a couple okay. of cuffs, Perfect. and okay. like, yeah. and then just some some shoes, and then <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, I I check out. <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. uh, that looks perfect on you. Perfect. Oh my! I couldn't have picked oh, something out better. Thank you myself. so much. Oh you, no! Thank you. Uh, I mean, your do, do you want to? You should model. You should model for me. Oh, you're so kind. I, I wish I could take you. Unfortunately, I am, I'm only in town just for the next couple of days. But you know, <gasps> when things get settled, you know, um, mm. I would love mm. to maybe return and we can we can talk about maybe an arrangement. Are, are um, you going to be have... at the big announcement party tomorrow? I mean, possibly. Uh, you you know which one I'm talking about, right? The the one Bexley Walton. Oh, that man oh. um, is going to be announcing something new and exciting for the city of White Peak. It's the nobles are all in an uproar about it in a good way, not in a bad way. Oh, well, I suppose I will be there then. It means more money for all of us. Oh. And that's tomorrow, yes. not tonight. Tomorrow? No. Uh, tomorrow oh. night. Uh, tomorrow night will be the, yes, and then tonight is a private dinner, so. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, you're going to a private dinner? Going to a private, that's why, mm. you know how it is. My my partner's, my partner's boss is, is doing a thing. So we've, of course, mm. we've got to, we've got to show up, Understood. show up, look and show up and uh, show off a little, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Understand, understand. Well, We're, yeah. Oh, all right. So let me uh, take you to the counter. Is there a and matching tie? Up. I feel like a matching tie I can grab for my husband. Ooh, good idea. Uh, he says, yeah, you're going to want um, uh, this tie. He picks out the matching color. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And some cufflinks. That would be great oh, as well. Oh, yes. You know, I'll, I'll throw Wonderful. in the tie and cufflinks, you know. <gasps> oh, oh, bless. Bless. Mm. So, wonderful. so um, right. that means it's going to be really, really expensive. Oh, I know. <laughs> All right. So the entire total, um, you know, since I like you, oh. I'll give you a bit of a discount. Um, oh. comes out to 950 gold. Brilliant. Here you are. Thank you so much. All right. And how are you paying? Uh, um, here, gold, I, I or... put down the credit. I put down the credit note. Oh, the credit note. Okay. Oh, you know how it is. I'm an adventurer. We don't really care that kind of money on us. It's just so cumbersome. Understand. Okay. This is, uh, Ranisha Expressed, uh, from the Bank of Ranisha. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Express. We are a platinum tier member. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, rewards and all. You get points. And oh yes, get we do get back points and everything. 
Oh, yes, we do get 3% gold back on every purchase. And okay. there's also, you know, double points uh, for if we spend anything on um, some, you know, really nice cart traveling <laughs> and also airship travel. <laughs> oh, very nice. All right. Wow. So he goes and rips off a note from the from the little book and writes down um, the thing. Uh, you know, writes down, you know, the amount, um, his, his, uh, Renisha Express vendor or merchant ID number. And mm. he goes and, um, picks up, uh, sort of like a, uh, sort of like a, we'll just say a, a rock, right? And, and it's got like, um, almost sort of looks like a speaker in a sense. And he picks it up. And then immediately starts closing his eyes, and um, you just hear him start speaking some stuff. You don't hear anything on the other side, and he waits for a few minutes. And he's like, "Okay, uh, the bank accepted it. All right." And he put, puts the rock down and um, puts the note um, in his uh, little drawer, and he says, "Everything's all taken care of. I've got the gold." Wonderful, and I have this beautiful dress. Thank you so much for a pleasant and wonderful oh, experience. Come back, come back. I, I need oh, you to model yes. for me. It, it's amazing. Oh, you're so sweet. You're such a sweet. You're oh. such a sweet person. And thank you so much for introducing me to your children. They were wonderful. Do, do you want some day... wine on the way home or on on the way out? Oh, you a, a to-go a cup. To-go cup. How <laughs> exotic! I would love that. And he gives you, it's it's not even a plastic cup or anything. It's just it glasses. <laughs> wonderful. And, and it's got his uh, name on them and everything. Oh, oh. wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Ta-ta for now. Ta-ta. Bye. Oh, goodbye. Ta-ta. Bye. Oh, yes, ones. before we leave, where can we find um, a servant's livery? A servant's livery? Uh, you'll have to... Uh, he's trying to remember. You'll, you'll have to go uh, back out the street. And uh, go down about right here. He, he's just pointing out directions. Then make a right, and you'll see a servant's livery for um all the that all the nobles use. Oh, wonderful! Hey, are, Thank is you these for again. your servants here? These are for my servants. Thank mm. you. Hi, we're again, servants. Really yeah, putting, really putting up a united <laughs> front here. Yes. All right. Thank you again. Ta 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 ta. And I, I, we get out of there. <laughs> as, like, as you're as you're walking out, Ariana's is like, "Wait a minute. I'm not a ser servant. What? Don't worry about Ariana. it, Ariana." <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Just go with it. All right. So you're heading to the servants' livery. We're heading to the servants' livery, and I, I try to talk. To, I just try to explain it to Ariana. Like, I know you're not my servant. <laughs> we're just pretending, because if they knew who we were. We would be in big trouble. And Are we want you to sure about that, m'lady? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're, you're being your silent too long. Very, too long. very, Stop. you can see, you can see Karen pull I, herself back from raging. I don't <laughs> know if Karen liked that or didn't like that. It's just hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Uh, sometimes it's a very thin line. Like, mm-hmm. Happy rage. <laughs> um, happy rage. I like that. Happy rage. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to the livery now. We're going to the livery store. Liveries are us. All right. So as you all uh, go down the street, then make a right. Um, it gets not as fancy. I mean, it's still the the architecture is still much better looking than the other side of town you were on. Uh, but it's looking a little bit more basic a little bit samey everywhere and um and then as you find the the livery store um do you do you see like even right outside there's a whole bunch of you know servants outfits depending all, all kinds of flavors from tuxedos to just you know dress uniforms to you know khaki shirts to khaki pants and shorts just every single kind of you know servant wear of your choice. I think I'm, we're just looking for something really nice. Something that even matches my dress a little bit. All right. So as you walk in, um, you, you get someone. It, it's a pretty big uh, store. Think of it like the size of a Bell's Outlet or something. Um, 
where there it, there's just a lot of selection and there's even used clothes as well too you know if you don't care about your servants that much if you don't want to buy new um oh, <laughs> so there's and, and you get someone because uh, the counter is right by the door and you get someone like hi welcome to uh you know uh white peak liveries uh if there's anything you need assistance with just come up to the yes. counter yes I yes, hello. I am looking for um, some livery for my servants here. We're new in town, and we're uh, they're there to cater a private event tonight. I just want to make sure that they look up to snuff. We've got um, my sommelier here, and to my cooking staff. Hello. Oh. Right, so as you walk up to the counter, um, there the it was a uh, older female um who uh waved you in and she has uh her hair starting to whiten but she you can t see that it used to be red um but there's white streaks in it and it says well hi my name is alice and um thank you for coming um if there's um so you said you're looking for some clothes for your servant is that yes, my servants. Servants, okay. Well, the, yes. if, if you look behind you, there's plenty of choices. You know, we've got new, used. Um, as you can see, you see signs like everywhere, like, you know, t listed like tuxedos or, or khakis or fancy uh, male, women. Um, and then, then each section has, you know, halfling, gnome, you know, human, dragonborn, like all separated by races as well, too, because of the different heights. Um, and okay. she says, if, if you need any alterations done, that does come with an extra fee and does take about um, one to two weeks to get done. Oh, we're going to need a little bit, a little bit faster than that, I think. Okay. It's an expedited process. I certainly would be interested in learning more, but let's see what we can find, shall we? Um, and so we go, I guess I just drag everyone to like various areas to yeah. like find things again all right so you said you're looking for something that is closer to like your dress colors um or... yeah but not necessarily like we we've only got 50 i've got like 66 gold in uh, my pocket so I, we have like about 130 um 130 um i can math 100 and <laughs> like um 11 like uh, 110 something gold to deal with so uh yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but, but yeah, something that would be it'd be nice to have, but I'm not going to like. Yeah, but also, insist on it. Like, are are we your staff or are we the host staff? Because in that case, we don't want to necessarily look like we're That's inherently good point. associated with you. Yeah. Okay, in that case, we can just look for general stuff. Okay. All right. Um, one of you give idea. me a perception check with advantage, because I'm assuming all of you would be looking. I have um, I have proficiency. I have plus four. How would you? Uh, I have how to... plus six. Okay. Ooh, hoo hoo. Like, let's get on it. There all you right. go. And remember, Don't with fail me, advantage. Dice. Oh, with advantage. I'm already at twenty-four. What? Well, do, do it again. You may get a nat twenty. You never know. 16. 16. So, I'll, I'll so, so even with the 16, you, you would find something exactly for what you're looking for. Um, that is pretty, oh. you know, middle of the road. It's not your servants, but just like the host servants, what you would assume would be what they would wear. Like you find something that, uh, with your experience, Karen, you find something a sommelier would wear versus a uh, wait staff. Mm. Wait, mm -hmm. you you got a twenty four, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We find we find what we need. Um, do we need alterations? Nope. Nope. Oh, you find brilliant. something. Um, and Excellent. the Excellent. you managed to find the one satyr sommelier um <laughs> outfit, and 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 the dwarf and the the halfling are easy to find. There's plenty of oh, yeah. so, so rarely in demand. I, I guess. <laughs> The other Sayers Molly's just go for the whole thing and then don't last. I don't know. <laughs> it's a tough job. It's a tough job. It's a tough job, so, but someone's yeah. got to do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. yep. So as you bring them all to the counter, um, Alice looks them all over and says, uh, do you need a... 
Did, do you do you also want to include the uh, weekly dry wash or not dry wash, uh, dry cleaning? Uh, oh no, well? we're just gonna. It's just for one night, so this is fine. So are you wanting to rent them instead of buy them? I outright? think we're going to rent these. Yeah, that makes more sense, okay. right? All right. Um, yeah. So there will be a ten gold deposit for renting, and then you will need to pay uh, another twenty gold um, for the rental. You'll get the ten gold back when you return them. Fun. All right. So you you hand her gold. So we hand her. I hand her my gold. Okay. All right. She so she like takes 30, takes the right? gold. Yeah, 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 30 gold, 10 gold deposit, then 20 for the rental. Um, so she she um, asked for your name. Uh, and what's your name? Oh, um, Karenina. Karenina. All right. Gemly. Uh, and then she looks at you, um, just writes down a brief description um, of what you look like. And says, all right, I will file it. And... Hope you enjoy. I will see Thank you tomorrow. Thank you so much. And Can I roll investigation on this person? Just because we're just all being sort of cautious. What are you exactly investigating? Um, just her... Um... Just how she's reacting to Karenina saying her name. I suppose. Okay, so that'd be more know, of a perception check. Recognize the name, sure. Yeah, it'd be more perception, not um, not so investigation. I, okay. Sure. So yeah, you can roll that. Okay. A thirteen. Thirteen. So as far as you can tell, as you're watching her, it, it she she all, all she's doing just writing down the name and you know just writing down description and filing it away. You, you see her, like, file it um, in this little box where okay. there's other papers as well, too, that you can assume are other people that have rented stuff. Okay. Okay, well, and then she says, well, have a nice day. Thank you for shopping here. And you, uh, thank you so much as well. All right, let's head back. All right. All right, so you're all heading back to uh, the hotel where James is at? Yes, we're heading back to the hotel. Under our own power this time? Yes. Okay. <laughs> got bags. All right, so... Uh, that's true. Yep, we got stuff to carry. Oh, we have bags, too, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> so it was one o'clock when we started before you left James and took... We'll just say it's three o'clock now. You all have five hours. Well, pr probably about four and a half hours till you have to show up to the steakhouse. Um, and the what? hotel where you were all staying at is actually um, right around here, if you're looking on the map. And then the steakhouse, we will say, is over here. Right here. So you're not actually that far from it. So you're actually sort of right down the street from it. Because you all are about right here, oh, okay. right now. Oh, so we went a super roundabout way. Like, through this whole city. Because didn't we start... Um, oh, well, because we met in that tavern. Now we're... Uh, that's, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, because you were all were about right here. Because that because the entrance where you all came from was right here. Right. At that right. gate. Okay. Met I've James there, the then the ran. Yeah, because yeah, they told you to come across this bridge. Because mm -hmm. that was closer to where you all were compared to over here. And this is more of, like, where the military is anyway. On that bridge over there. So, I, I guess I'm going to, like, I guess I I would actually need your help, I think, um, a Marimel to, like, wrap my face. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm great with bandages, so we got this. We can make it look totally realistic. No problem. This is perfect. I got you. Okay. So you all are heading back to the hotel? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you all are going back to the the I don't know the name the the equivalent of a super fancy Hilton and Hampton uh, four star five star hotel. Oh, nice! We're at, we're <laughs> at a Four Seasons, baby. 
Yeah, four seasons. There you go. <clears throat> um, this is called Five Seasons, though. They didn't want to get sued. Oh, there's sued. five seasons. <laughs> Perfect. No, we just don't want to get sued by four seasons. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Um, so you go back to the Five Seasons Hotel, the Five Star mm-hmm. Hotel, and inside mm-hmm. immediately just, as soon as you walk in, uh, there are servants there offering you wine and hors d'oeuvres as soon as you walk in. Oh, wow. Sh- I'm, shall we I'm... take your bags for you as well? Oh, yes, if you could just take them up to the room. Um, I'm good for now. If we can get this on ice, I just grab the, the, the free wine that we got and just get this on ice and, and send it up to my suite. That would be wonderful. Uh, and, um, and what, what's the name under? Name is under Gemleaf. Ah, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. You are with the in house dynamics party? I am. Okay. All right. We will send that up to. Your sweet, uh, I assume you were with James, Jim Leaf. Ah, my wonderful partner. Ah, okay. Yes, you all have the uh, governor's suite, uh, the wonderful. four the four room governor's suite, and yes, it is at the very top floor on uh, the thirtieth floor, and um, yes, right right this way. We will take it up, and um, wow. Uh, Welcome, Mrs. Gemleaf. And these are your servants, I presume? Um, yes, they're part of my staff. Yes. Hi. Hmm. Um, so... uh, Very nice to meet you, Mrs. Gemleaf. I hope you enjoy your stay at the Five Seasons. Thank you so much. Is there an elevator? (laughs) Yeah, there's a... It's a mechanical elevator, like a... they, They have to crank it up and all that. Um, so, so you, you remember like the old school ones where they have to crank up the elevator and all that? Um, that that's basically... is there like a little is there like a little bard in there? To, like... <laughs> mm-hmm. No, Amazing. no. There's there's just a, a a a human in there just cranking it up. But it's um they, they have the gears in a way where he's not having to struggle very much to try to pull you up and all that. I, I imagine so. Like magic, like. <laughs> Yeah, magic, gears, pulleys, yeah. magic. Yeah, yeah. I suppose artificery is a magic in and of itself. Absolutely, it's very interesting. From the sound of it, James is uh, well versed in some of that technology himself. So, oh yes, he's mm-hmm. one of the best artificers in the world. I'm sure he is. Yeah, very. Yeah. So, am I like not allowed to talk to these people around here? Oh, I'm. You are. I, I think you are. You're my staff. Yeah. It's okay. Just, they don't like, seem very receptive. N- yeah, it's not like it's not like you know just conversational. Like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. As a servant, we're supposed to have like a kind of air about you know like you know what we've seen and not heard necessarily. Okay. Oh. Oh. Thing. Yeah. Oh. It's it's still lame, but. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I'll try to. I'll try to be more quiet. Uh, you feel it t- as you're going up. You feel a tug <laughs> on you, uh, Corinne, and it's uh, Ariana. Yes. And she says, uh, "Make sure you pay off that note uh, by next month, or so you don't accrue on the two point three percent APR." Um, oh no, we have automatic payments. It's fine. okay. Right. Just want to make sure. I and appreciate. She goes back that. to her to her book. Wow. And so a couple minutes passes and you reached uh, level 30 and um, the doors open. And I just like to imagine, you know, in in her head, she's so used to like having someone play music. It's like, some music is playing. (laughs) (laughs) And as soon as the door opens, there are two servants uh, waiting there. Um, And they, they, uh, bow to you, Corinne, and says, right this way, as they walk you to um, your suite. Oh, how much time do we have? Uh, at this point, you've got about, what I say? About, we'll it's say four, 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 four hours by by this point. Okay. Uh, we should all take a bath. Yes. I, I think I need to get need to get like bandaged up, and then I think the both of you should probably, all of you should probably go over, over early. 
that for we are sure. as, as yes. Uh, yes agree yeah we can get right. cleaned up and go over there all right so with this being a f oh what were you gonna say pixie I was just gonna say we need to figure out like what our game plan is gonna be there this evening. Like, what's our okay. goal? What are we trying to find out? What are we trying to learn tonight exactly? First, uh, definitely not be seen by Vesuvio. If right. It goes up early. Right. Um, you know, or at least like if if we have Ariana to disguise self, you know, that mm -hmm. be the point where we're around. But, um, oh, you know, obviously getting in in the first place, making ourselves just look like part of the staff, which uh, a huge event like this, it's probably not that hard. It'll be mm -hmm. other staff will have to worry about more so than, you know, um, Mr. Uh, Walton, right? Yes, Walton. yes, yeah. yeah, Bexley Walton. Bexley Walton, yeah. Then, uh... Well, I don't know what else beyond that. Huh. Uh, I mean, we're looking to gather information, right? Like, what are they going to do mm -hmm. with all this stuff? What are their plans? Mm -hmm. Right. Like, what's the big reveal going to actually be tomorrow? Mm hmm. How do we destroy them all at this party? And, and how is it all... <laughs> how is it connected to the airships, right? There's some connection there that we don't know yet. Gotta be. I think. Right? I isn't that what isn't that what Jet Aim said? Oh. Yeah, I mean we we can't destroy his prototype, so yeah, But he, he, in he, house he dynamics did mention, might Yeah. He did mention that, you know, his company got bought out by Bexley's company mm -hmm. um for for basically to make a shipping company mm -hmm. with these airships. <gasps> Oh, yeah, okay. So they're trying to get the product out, which is the poison. We know it's poison. We do know it's poison. So yeah, we've got to figure out like where they're going to go and more information about that so that we can actually sabotage it. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so like, Corinne, you have the hardest job here because you'll be the most visible. And... Yes. And but we're gonna get bandages. the we're gonna get the bandages for all for all the facial surgeries. I'm the face. Time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have this beautiful, beautiful gown, but like your face is gonna be covered in bandages, and it'll be fine. It's, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, no, it's fine. Great. It's a great, great plan. Yes, it's it's totally fine. Um, I mean, I think the rest of us will be okay. Like we'll be wait staff. We'll be moving around. We should be able to hide or hopefully stay away from anybody who might recognize us, which is pretty much only Vesuvio. The other people won't know us, right? Yeah, the other people will not know you, okay. I, I don't think. You don't okay. know if anyone else would know you, because you don't know who these people are. Well, that's true. Like, like, Thun Thundara wouldn't know us, but I guess might know Corinne. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay. j just so you do okay. remember, um, player knowledge, Yeah. Uh, there was a note found on the bard describing the three of you. Remember with the Ooh. when you all were trying yeah. to be assassinated in the, the forked way in. Mm. Ooh. And who, and who was that from? Uh, it Did we know? It, it didn't say who it was from. Mm -hmm. It was just on the bard. It was right? just on the bard with the note describing the three of you to take you out. Oh, okay, but that had to be Vesuvio. Vesuvia. Vesuvio. This okay. Rufio. That had to be <laughs> Ve That had to be Vesuvio. Though, because he ran away from us, so that's who we really have to watch out for. Yeah, I. We didn't meet anybody else, right? So, or like that survived encountering us that matters, so. Hmm. Vesuvio was the only one you have physically met. That yes. goes for all three of you. Um, okay. So, 
<clears throat> How common are satyrs around here? Like, have we seen any other satyrs around this city? Oh, roll a, um... Probably Kind of check what that means. Not history. Uh, demographics. Uh, per perception. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do a perception check. Okay. To see if you've seen any. Nineteen. Um, you've seen you 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 know that satyrs are not common, um, and but they're not like uncommon if that makes sense. Okay. Like, like there, there's not a large population of them. Period. But you you but have seen a like... few. Yeah. It's not like one would super stand out. Yeah, it, it's not like, okay. um, what's another race? Like, uh, Aarakocra or, um, the, Okay. Um, Leonin uh, or something. Or yeah, Hulk yeah, or yeah, yeah. It's, okay. Or, like, t tieflings. There's not, not that tieflings aren't around. There's just not a lot of them. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Hmm. So I'm just thinking, like, you know, is is Vesuvio gonna have people on guard to like just literally be looking for a satyr? But it sounds like there's more. There's gonna. It's like you would have to be more specific because it sounds like there's other satyrs around, even though they aren't super common. Yeah, it's okay. just about dwarves for that matter. Given the well, I mean, the, there, there's, not that many being around. I mean, dwarves are more common than satyrs. So, but like, like I said, there's not a huge population of dwarves in this city, but mm -hmm. it's not like people, you haven't been seeing dwarves around, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Um, and and, and just to, like I said, player knowledge as well, is you can assume that when the bard saw the three of you together, that's mm -hmm. how they probably picked you out. That's exactly what I was gonna say. We need, we don't need to be seen together at this party. Like, oh, Ariana is good though. No, nobody Ariana knows that Ariana is with us. Yeah. But a dwarf, a satyr, and a and a dragonborn probably Walk shouldn't be hanging bar. out together. <laughs> probably shouldn't be hanging out together. Oh, the bar get jumped by a bard and gas. <laughs> okay. So maybe Ariana can just sort of be the go-between, communicating between us. That would make sense. That make that'd be easy to I mean, get Ariana to pop the sky's cell phones too. Yeah, and if she has a message, that would be super, super useful. I I have sending, so if we get in a really you know bad way, I can use that you know as some sort of not. I don't know, maybe last resort sort of thing. So I do have mm -hmm. that. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I mean, I think that would be useful. I think that would be very useful. Yeah. But and we're and we're not planning on anything, anybody taking any action tonight. We're just here to observe and gather information and then meet up safely after the event. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then maybe Ariana, if you don't mind to maybe sort of check in between us occasionally, just so we know everyone's okay. And she she nods. She she's listening the entire time. Okay. 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 Alright, I don't I'm just trying to be prepared because I'm and, sort and, of and, and as nervous. soon as you mentioned the um the spell message, she immediately closes her book, opens up her spell book, and says, yes, I know it. Just give me some time. I need to prepare it. Oh, totally fine. Thank perfect. You. Awesome. Ow. <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't open this up too much. It's not, there's no numbers. <laughs> I understand. Thank you for doing this okay. for us, Ariana. Let's take a bath. Okay. Get ourselves clean. Let's get yes. ourselves gussied up. Let's do oh, it. Wow, I, I just realized the room were holy crap. Oh yeah, like, yeah, this this these? is um So the the governor's suite, as soon as you open up, it's got a big living room, probably about um you know, four hundred by four hundred feet. And um and then it's oh. got and then as soon as you look to your right, it's got the master suite. Um oh it got 
you know, French doors that open up and you see this uh, California king size bed um, with wow. four posts on it. And um, you can tell James has not even slept on it because it looks way too neat and perfect. Um, uh, you can tell that he's been sleeping on the couch and you see like blueprints, um, you know, just scattered about on the table. And um, so hard at work. Working. And then over to the right, um, you you see a hallway peer down and you see four other rooms. Uh, one bathroom and then, you know, three other bedrooms that are about 200, or about 100 by 100 feet each. And then the bathroom only has uh, one bathtub slash shower in there. And then the master suite has its own, uh, like, jacuzzi-style tub slash shower. Plus its own separate Ooh. shower as well, so. Well, I'm gonna go take a shower. We don't have time for baths. <sighs> First me. Yep, I'm, I'm running in there. I'm getting in the shower! <laughs> a a a Ariana um, just goes into the master suite bathroom. Um and looks in the tub and she looks up at Cran like can, can I can I try this? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. She fun. just she just jumps in and just starts the water and lets all the jacuzzi jets go and <laughs> Nice. You just see her she's um you know, she she's a an adult halfling, but you see her just acting like a kid, like this is she's never experienced this before. It's so much fun for her. <laughs> Love it. All right. I'm gonna find a big fluffy bathrobe after I get done with my shower. Put a big fluffy oh. bathrobe on. It, it it's the the bathrobes, I will say, change color depending on your mood. They're they're mood <gasps> robes. Ooh. Okay, so I'm definitely stressed out and have anxiety. So what color is mine right now? It, it's a little bit of a it's a red, and it's starting to get slightly darker. Ooh, a maroon. I'll 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 try mine in a bit. Going in. <laughs> Enjoy. Showered by this. Oh my point. gosh! Just, this like, water totally pressure. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, it, it's also it's a bath slash uh, shower for your side, so you can do either one. Why are we talking about? It? Okay, this, all right. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I don't know. Um. <laughs> Have a good time. These, these are important yeah. role play that, that details. That is true. That's true. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the first time I will say that I DM'd uh, a shopping, a dress shopping trip, and if I ever have to do it again, Michelle, I'm gonna have to hit you up for some Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I was nice. just like. I don't know what happens. <laughs> I'm going to work in tech. I did a lot of retail therapy. I know way too much about this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Surprise. It didn't work. <laughs> oh. All right. So yeah. after everyone showers, bathes, you know, gets dried off, mm -hmm. gussies themselves up in each individual way. Um, uh, I'm helping Corinne with her bandages. Um, our, our, and I would... Oh, yeah, go. I would love to roll a medicine check to see how well I do. Okay, yes, oh. do that. <laughs> okay. I have plus seven to medicine, so this Ooh, that's, should be That's good. pretty good. Should be good. Pretty good. Not 20! Oh! I got a oh. not 20! Oh! 27! Because Rambo, like, done, has done, have you done, like, have you seen people do cosmetic procedures before? I've never seen anybody do this before, but I just feel like I instinctually can tell exactly where these bandages would go. How is that bandaging so fashionable? Like, what yes, is Yes, it this? is the what best looking, and it's, it's not looking in a way where, you know, she's wrapped up in bandages like a mummy or anything. It's more like, a. Very, but it is. It's like Moon Knight, as opposed it, to like. Yeah, yes! it, it's Moon Knight, yes! it's like it's it it's gorgeous looking. Yeah, 
it's like, oh my Perfect. gosh, this is the most beautiful bandage, bandaged, bandaged up woman. dragonborn I've ever oh. seen. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. James is going to love this. I can't wait for James to see you. Yeah, I'm oh. glad he got a nat 20 because like this is a really visible part of her. Oh, and, and, and he comes in, you know, he comes in the suite as soon as you get done. And he's like, uh, Karenina, I'm home. Yes, darling. He, he he walks in the master suite and he's like, oh, what? Oh, okay. This is the disguise you're using? Um, yes. I remember hmm. when that, we were talking about that mind flayer next door when he got the, um, That's right. the hair implants. Okay. I, and I, I, I understand because Vesuvio might recognize you. It's okay. You know what? You're well, as... I did get you a matching tie and some cufflinks. So oh, if you want you to did. go ahead and. But I will say, oh, dear, the dress is gorgeous. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. I did not go over like... our limit on the okay. on the notes. So, uh... okay. all right. Yes, I got Don't... a sending from the bank about what was spent. Wonderful. Sending from the bank. <laughs> See, I listened to you. Oh. I appreciate it, my dude. Um, of course. But, um, whew, that dress. Um, Thank you. But I will say that the bandaging, uh, May, uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Thank they you. did a wonderful job. I can't even tell what? it's my wife. Oh, that's great. <laughs> my that's wife. great. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> well, I mean, that means Vesuvio is not going to be able to tell who it is either. So, perfect. Great. Um, oh so, God. for you two, uh, besides, you know, getting bathed and all that, is there anything else you two are going to do before getting dressed up, or? Um, I, I, like, I don't feel that there's anything I particularly need to bring, other than wine choice experience. So Ourselves. I think I'm good, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, so you both get all dressed up in your, uh, clothes, and, um, mm -hmm. it's about... We're about an hour away from the from the dinner at this point. Um, we we better go ahead and get over there, Ariana yeah, Tellercoast. Yeah, yeah. I think we should head over there now so we can get uh, in. One hundred percent agree. Yeah. All right, and then you and James will show up later. Um, James says yes. Uh, we'll leave. Um, uh, Marigold and Athena are getting ready in the suite right down the right down the hall, and um, they're staying together. I managed to get my own suite. Mm, um, it's great. This, yes. this suite is awesome. They, they've got the same suite as well, so cool. It's, it's wonderful. Yes. And look at the view, and you see the wonderful city view of um, you Ooh, know, it's got a nice cool. balcony as well too. Nice mm -hmm. breeze blowing in. Yes. Um. And so as yeah, that's great, but we gotta go. We oh, yes, we'll yes, see. Yes. We'll see you in a bit. We'll see you in a bit. All right. Good luck. Take care. Thank you. You too. Bye, Karen. We'll be in Bye. touch. All right. All right. So you two, uh, well, you two with Ariana, uh, head to the elevator and get down. And as you all make your way uh, to Emmeline's Steakhouse, it takes about so from here all the way over here. It takes about a. It's like a. It's about 15, 20 minute walk to get over there. So you have about 40 minutes till go time. And by okay. the time you all arrive at the restaurant, James and Karen would be ready to go and start getting ready to walk down as well, too. So you mm -hmm. two arrive at the restaurant. Uh, what are you all doing? Are you going to the front, the back, the side? Uh, um, we definitely want whatever... Uh, I think we'll watch. Yeah, yeah, see see if we can spot some other wait staff going in. Uh, yeah. Roll me a perception check and give me advantage since it's three of you. You 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 roll it, Tellercos. I think is is your perception. Oh, oh uh, that was a two. Oh. Let's do... advantage. <gasps> that was two twos. <laughs> Holy crap! I have eight. All right, With so. <laughs> You don't really know where they're going in. Oh my god! So okay, well, well, we should per we should just for sure go around back. I mean, there's no way that this that we're just supposed to walk right in the front door. So let's just let's just yeah, go around yeah. back and look, and we'll see a door, and we'll just go in. All right, all right. So as you all uh, walk around the back, 
Um, you go down a little alleyway right next to the restaurant, go in the back, and um, you see about what looks like to be two cooks uh, just having a smoke, uh, looking stressed out, and you hear them. Uh, do, do any of you know Elvish? Yes, I do. Okay. And, and you hear them just speaking Elvish like, oh, this fucking party with all these rich snobs. Um, I can't stand it every single day. Um, Freaking God. It And this Bexley guy showing up and uh, God, the whatever, whatever we got. We got to put on our good face. And um, he stamps out his smoke and sees you three approaching and says that uh, in common, uh, w- what are you three? Are, are you are you part of the new staff? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, so we're awake probably. staff. Yeah. All right, roll um. Each of you roll me a deception. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. And I'm gonna Plus do one. Ariana. I got a nat twenty, but I have a minus one to deception. So I I rolled a sixteen, so I have a seventeen. Okay, and Ariana, what's her deception? Don't, okay. don't mess this, this up, Ariana. Ariana. Okay. Um, uh, he, he looks at uh, Tellerkos and May. He's like, okay. And sort of looks at Ariana and is like, is, is she with you? Yeah, yeah, she's really new to this, but I'm kind of trying to take her okay. under my wing and... I don't think yeah. I've ever seen you three at the restaurant before. Are you from another steakhouse? Are, are, are you from? They transferred us over. With are, the, are yeah, you, for, the, this. for the party. Are you yeah. from Drake's Steakhouse? Uh, no, not Drake's. That's no. I, I'm I'm not familiar with that one. Oh, okay. No, no, they brought us. They brought us out uh, from. We're from out of town. We're yeah. we're from out of town. We're yeah, we're part not, of the not um, one of the white peaks. We're part of the locations. we're part of the um airship crew oh from renisha yeah yes yeah okay of course okay oh, interesting. I, interesting i should have said that i mean i just assumed you knew yeah oh okay okay yeah um oh you're you're the you're the crew part of uh bexley's wait staff aren't you exactly yes yes we are yeah okay yeah it just just go in the back um uh have the uh, maitre d show you where the uh where the little event is happening great yeah can't Not wait good. for it to be over am oh, i right God. tell me yeah about it. um Rich well good luck yeah, yeah good luck see all you right, later yeah. Yeah. Let's go. all right yeah, yeah so, so, so they they go back to talking um they sort of side eye uh ariana a little bit because oh, no. she did roll only an 11. <laughs> um Okay, it's okay. We got you. So as as you three are walking, uh, you see the kitchen right away, and it's a huge kitchen. Um, a <gasps> stainless steel everywhere. I don't even know if stainless <gasps> steel would have been around back then, but we're going to say because it's fantasy. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. And um, you see cooks all prepping everything. Uh, May, your, your first instinct is to you just want to jump in there and just start cooking as well and... <laughs> yeah, I'm looking to see, like, for sure, like, what are people are working on, tasting some stuff. Ooh, uh-huh. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, um, the, you see, you see, uh, someone in a really fancy tuck just sort of yelling at some of the cooks and chefs, and he, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, high elf, uh, pr- not very tall, probably about five foot six, five foot seven, and, um, uh, completely bald too, uh, with his pointy ears standing straight up, and mm-hmm. looks right at you three, and he's like, "Ah, the, what are you three? You're you're almost you're late here. Are you part of the Bexley uh, wait staff?" Yes, yes, yes we are. Yeah, oh, we and are. the Somalier as well too. Ah, oh, gosh, you you three are late. All right, follow me. Gosh, we can't ever get good help around here. Ah, oh, jeez, just because Bexley Sorry. thinks he's uh, whatever. Don't. Just don't. What? Don't. I'm sorry. What's your name? Uh, my name is Inconsequential. All right. Inconsequential. Nice to meet you. My name's <laughs> um, <laughs> Mary, and yeah, we're a part of Bexley's group. All right. Follow, so... follow me. Okay. I, I don't have time for this. All right. Follow me. He he takes okay, you. Okay, Mister Inconsequential. Mary, sure. Mary, Mary, Mary. Okay. No. All right. He he <laughs> takes you right out to the dining room. 
and <laughs> um, uh, you, you see a whole bunch of tables everywhere, and then he takes you upstairs, and you see there's more dining tables and booths and all that, and then he takes you into mm-hmm. a room, a small private room that fits about ten people uh, in, in a in a table, and um, it this room has no windows, by the way, on the wall, and and it's got one of those private glass screens, uh, if, if you all know what I'm talking about, where it, yeah, it, it's, so yeah. the 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 glass facing the outside where you you normally see the dining room it's all like the private glass where you can't see through it and no one can see on either side so the Um, dining room can't see who's in that smaller room yes but the smaller room people can look out into the dining room yes okay yeah it's um i i i I tried looking up what the name was i couldn't find and all i could find was like private glass yeah yeah private glass partitions we gotcha. Yeah, but that's um, bothering me now. I can't think of what. Because I thought there was a name for it, but I couldn't find it. I think um, there is, but. So, so he takes you in there and says, "All right, get set up, um, sommelier. Um, you know, here are wines. He gives you the list of the wines, and you know, I trust you to pick out the right one. And um, you oh, know, you, you've got course. you've got twenty, you've got oh, fifteen minutes to get set up here." Yeah, we do. So let us get to it. All right, go. All right. Okay. What are we doing? This is a small room. We're part of Beckley's group. What if Vesuvio comes in here? We can't. We can't be hidden from him. Okay, it's gonna be fine. <gasps> <gasps> okay, Ariana. How many times can you cast this guy's self, Ariana? Uh, 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 uh pulling I mean, up her sheet. You- <laughs> Dilly, you'd only need it, like, if you think the guy's coming in, right? So you can save it. Right, but... Right, but we can't But if we're in a, a small room with ten, with only ten I seats... Think this, maybe no, I think this maybe is, you this need face masks. I don't like, know Like, for is... hygiene purposes. I, 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 can, I can cast it nine times. But it, but it lasts an hour each time. Should we just preemptively do it right now, Telecoast? Should we just preemptively do it right now? Uh... Hmm. Ariana doesn't Maybe. need it. It's just you and I. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. small room is making me so nervous. It, it's, it's okay. Don't worry. It's, it's but. <laughs> oh. <no. laughs> okay, Ariana, can you just do it on us yes. really quick before anybody else gets in here? Oh, okay. okay. What, do, what do you want to be? What do you want to be? Wait, wait a second. Stop. What about inconsequential? He's going to know we look different. Consequential is going to forget about us because we're inconsequential to him. Okay, good point. Ariana, yep. please, can you cast on each of us, please? All right, what do, what do you want to be? I, I I need to know what you need to be, so I can't cast it any otherwise. Uh, okay. Just a less make... attractive satyr. There you go. A less just, attractive... Just, ma- just make me a male dwarf with a with a really big beard. Okay, okay. She she goes and touches you um, with both hands, and you are a male dwarf with a... With a a beard and um but you still got the same looking hair she she, she was just so nervous um okay <laughs> okay that's great it's fine <laughs> it, it's it's may but just with a beard essentially and, okay. and, and more stockier shoulders <laughs> okay okay it's good it's it's great thank you all right right, right. Okay. T- t- tell her coast what uh, i don't uh, surprise me I think Surprise you should be. You. A, I think you should be something other than a satyr. Okay, she other she goes and touches you, and uh, you're now a lizard man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you ha- you have work? scales everywhere now. And, okay. Um, all right. You, you, okay. All, all, all you your look, hair and horns are just gone. You look uh, really cool. You're you're I, you're you're uh, uh, a, uh, a y- yellowish green greenish lizard man. You don't look um, anything like your old self. This is this is great. This is it, perfect. It'll, it'll do. Remember, it only lasts an hour. We, we've got fifty nine minutes. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna start setting the table or whatever okay. it looks like needs to be done here. Okay. And you're gonna go over the wine list. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go. All over, right. Uh, I'll, so, I'll sit, stand and read. <laughs> all right. So while Very this is all work. happening, um, Karenina and James and Athena and Marigold are. Um, are going to the restaurant. Um, Athena and Marigold first. um, Yes, yes, there is a horse carriage, horse-drawn carriage. 
Uh, Athena and Marigold oh, first Lord. were about to um, ask what was wrong with the face, and Jane's just mm -mm, don't don't worry about it. And they're and they're respectful enough to like okay, okay. <laughs> it looks beautiful. So it's you, just a wife. <laughs> it's just my wife, and you all four of you arrive to the restaurant about ten minutes ahead of ahead of schedule. And you all get in there and you see this maitre d', this bald elf, um, with pointy ears. And he says, uh, are you part of the Bexley party? Oh, uh, I turn to J uh, James, because he's the, he's, he's like yeah. the... J James nods and says, yes, uh, are, have they arrived yet? <laughs> says, no, not yet. Um, may I show you to your table? And J James nods and he takes all four of you up to the room and as you walk in uh karenina you see ariana just sort of standing there in her servant's outfit then you see this male dwarf um that that has maize hair and then you see a lizard a yellow greenish lizard man and um or lizard folk i mean um and, and when you walk in I, I, I don't, do I need to roll an insight check or a perception check? Because I feel like I would know what's up. You know, <laughs> yeah, 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 roll a, uh... I kind of wait, you know. I'm definitely little... trying to catch her eye. Yeah, yes, yeah, do, do, do insight or perception, whichever one is better for you. Oh, that's a dirty 20? Yep, so oh. you, you know, you, you definitely know that the male dwarf is May, and you can assume the lizard folk is probably Tellercos. Just by like his body language, um, ah. it's got the same. He stands sort of the same way that Tellercos does, and and mm -hmm. Ariana's just nodding her head like, "Yep." <laughs> um, I'm gonna go over to them and um, ask them if I can get any drinks for them, for the group. I don't. We'll just it's, it's kind of presumptuous. It's my job. Well. It's not wine. It's not the wine list. It's just oh, maybe you don't. Maybe they don't want wine. Just some yeah. sparkling water would be wonderful. Thank you. Of course, man. And, and the other three, like j just just sparkling. Was that like? Thank you. So oh, just, just sparkling water. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna be on my face. Yes. Okay, so I'll I'll go get the drinks for them. Oh. All right, so you have to walk oh. out the door to get the drinks, and as soon as you open the door to go back to the kitchen, right in front of you is this older gentleman, um, in a very fine suit, that uh is sort of standing in your way, and um, it's just looking down at you, and um, this older gentleman is dressed, you know, to the nines right here. He is a human looking a little bit older, and um... He's pardon looking. me, sir. Pardon me. I'm gonna back up. And get out of get out of his way. Okay. So as, as you open the door for him, um, he walks in and right behind him is this uh, shorter high elf. She is about 5'4", uh, wearing a fine, elegant silver dress adorned with necklaces and rings on all her fingers. And and then right behind her is Vesuvio, um, who is looking a little scarred up, and he's wearing an arm cast as well, too. But he's it, now that you see him more in the light, you can tell he is a drow elf, about 6'2", um, with dark purple skin and light purple hair. Um, he's wearing a very fine tuxedo as well similar to Bexley and he walks in sort of looks around um they, they all three walk in and James Athena and Marigold all stand up and you know bow to um you know to Bexley and all that is Karenina doing the same I curtsy yeah and um so you got him uh you got and get the the waters and um as they all sit down, um, Vesuvio, uh, Bexley sits in the middle of the table, um, and then v Vesuvio on one side, uh, Thundar on the other side, and Bexley sort of said, welcome everybody, um, thank you for coming, um, you know, it's great to see J J J James, James, okay, um, and, and Marigold and Athena, and 
And who who is this lovely bandaged uh, person? <laughs> oh, James needs to introduce me. I think right. Uh, uh, J- uh, J- James uh, says, uh, th- "This is my lovely wife, Karenina." Hello. How are you? I extend my hand. I apologize for my appearance. I've recently had surgery, and he, he takes your I'm hand and kisses recovering. it. And he's like, "Oh, uh, yes, that's." Uh, Thank you very much. Just uh, bitch. I understand. I've gotten plenty of surgery over over the years. You know, had some oh, hair plugs put much. in. Um, oh, you look very good. Thank you, thank you. Um, you know, I just want to thank everybody for coming. Oh, we're ready to start this uh, start this dinner party. Um, you know, uh, what the uh, uh, you see Ariana come up as as he's looking towards Ariana and. And so, yep, we'll start with waters, and then, uh, you know, uh, the the lizard man, um, you know, you're you're the sommelier, right? I am, sir. So what you what you got on what you got on, uh, you know, the wine? Well, uh, we have a very nice Yangara E High Sands Grenache, Calsar Pinot Noir, Mycidian Chardonnay, aged a hundred years, highly recommended. Uh, Velvet Alt Maria. There, there are so many options depending on your taste. Well, it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> well, um, anything else? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Apologies. Uh, uh, we also have Black Lotus Chardonnay, Regal Toscana, Ranisha Codin Roti. An aged Veronese of 50 years. Chapelle Blanc, Luthien Pinot Noir, and a separate Chapelle Blanc. Okay, mm. amazing. Uh, you, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll let the table pick. Uh, do, uh, anything you want. You, you want all of them? Take them. They're beautiful. It's such a be- uh, Trying to talk as if I've got bandages on my face. Well, it is such a beautiful uh, late spring, early summer day, I would very much love to have some kind of robust Chardonnay that would be slightly chilled for the table, I think would be a wonderful way to start. Let's get uh, let's get both the Chardonnays, the Black Lotus, and the Mycidian. Uh, b- bring the bottles. Wonderful choices. They will be very nicely chilled for you. All right. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, oh. So, so you you go and get the bottles because the bottles are right there in the room, and right. um, you you give out the glasses and all that, and um, you, sir, lady. and then uh, um, May, mm-hmm. uh, you come back with the sparkling waters for the four, and then Ariana is mm-hmm. right behind you with the with the sparkling waters for the other three, mm-hmm. and um, so. As you all get your wine, uh, Bexley raises. He's like, let's have a toast to um, the, the upcoming uh, fortunes that we're all going to make here. Um, you know, the, to, to, to wealth and power. Let's, let's do it. Raises the wine. Yes. He has <laughs> carefully sipped through my bandages. <laughs> and they all sip. And uh, Bexley uh, puts it down. He's like, well, you know, I... Uh, I'd be interested to learn more about you, uh, Karenina. Uh, you know, J- J- James, you're a very smart uh, person, you know? I'm very lucky to be partnered with such an amazing person. I uh, used to, you know, we, we met when we were both adventuring on the road, and since then I've been uh, mostly a stay-at-home mother, a full-time mother, and uh, we have three beautiful children, um, Cooper, Fletcher, and Mason, and they are incredibly bright and wonderful. Um, I, I lapse into boasting about my children. <laughs> um, I would like to, as I as I put um, a, a glass of sparkling water in front of Corinne, I would like to just sort of touch her on the shoulder, and I will um, cast guidance. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Why does my pen stop working? I not have here is that's okay. All right, all right. So you're casting guidance, and what does that do again? 
You touch one willing creature once before the spell ends. Oh, it's only one minute. Yeah, so. It's fine. Well, that's okay fine. because it's a cantrip, so. You can actually and, keep and, it. And I know that Bexley's trying to engage her in conversation right now, so. Um, at, let's see, the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to one ability check of its choice. It can roll the die before or after making the ability check. Okay. Well, good to know. My plan was to bore them senseless into not talking to me, so that way I can just, that I can just sit there and listen. Yeah. Well, I, I do have a question for you, Karenina. Um, oh, yes. you, you know, How? you, you, J James didn't mention anything about you being here. Um, what, how, how did you come about here, if I may ask? Well, as it turns out, the procedure that I needed to go through was at a clinic that was somewhere in the area, and I, you have to excuse me if I do not share it, it is somewhat of a prized secret for my community. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Um, oh, roll a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Begins. And you can do your uh, D4 as well. Too. Ah, yeah, I'm going to need that D4. <gasps> a nine. And the D4 gives it a... An 11. An 11. That's unfortunate. Okay. So, you well, see... Well, fine, I will say that... Okay, well, I I guess... Fine, I will... I will say that... The, the, the clinic I was looking for is... It's, it's not from around here, but... You know, after such a procedure, I, I just really needed to see my dear husband again. He he sort of furrows his brows a little bit. I'm and, uh... I'm gonna wa I'm gonna walk over to him and and say, Sir, would you like to start with some hors d'oeuvres for the table? Uh oh uh, yes. Uh... Just to sort of interrupt what his questioning. So Karen. let me um send you the menu. Uh, Pixie, I'm gonna send it to you in DM. In um, okay. Oh, it sent it as a picture. Okay, I, I sent it to you in DM. Okay. And, um, gotcha. All right. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, okay. For our appetizers, we have um deep fried kraken. Uh, nonsense breadsticks. Uh, th this is a very, this is a really one of the local favorites. Each one tastes different. Um, and a mushroom risotto. I, I can bring it um, enough for the whole table to try each of them, if that's okay with you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah br br bring enough for all, all of us. Thank you. Great, Great. be back. Okay. Yes, shortly. Thank all right. you. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, the procedure, uh, that's, that's great to hear. Um, you know, uh, say, have, have you heard my story before about, uh, how, how I made my fortune? He, he's talking, to, looking at Karenina. Uh, I'm afraid James has not been... James? Has not told me. Oh, James. I would, I would love James. to listen. I'm sure that whatever story he might have told me will not be as detailed or as interesting as it coming from the source itself. Oh, you... Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, so, you know, um, like, I, I, I was a wizard at one point, um, and I, 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 I worked for the High Council of Messidia, and it hel oh, helped ma maintain the world portals. Oh, yeah, I know. It's so impressive. Oh, my oh, goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but I, I, I didn't care too much about, you know, that kind of magic. I was really more interested in making elixirs and potions. Um, oh, and, and I excuse. found I had a knack for that. And so when the world portals got destroyed, I, I, I got to work um, making this, uh, this, this company uh, in-house dynamics. And um, Oh, I see. I, I wanted to... I, I was really, really uh, interested in... Uh, helping people helping sick people and um i see so i i, I made uh what i call the panacea in a bottle and um uh. I, I went to work on trying to create one of the first factories and but my problem was distribution um i oh. wanted to get it more widespread and without the world portals travel was hard and so i um huh you know i i created a system where 
I would hire certain people, like Thundara, and they would recruit people to sell for them, and then there'd be sort of an upline um, mm. for that. And the more people oh, that see. those recruits recruit, the more panacea in a bottle gets spread out there, and the more money trickles up. Um, oh, what a unique model of business. I, I, I see. It is almost like... Oh gosh, James, what is that shape that we, we saw once when we were traveling on our adventures? Uh, oh uh, yes, a, a, a pyramid. pyramid. Yeah, yes, yeah, a pyramid. Exactly like a pyramid. Oh, oh you're what, smart. what? You're smart. How wow. novel. Yes. Well, I'm, well. I'm going to come in with the food and start. I, I just start. I just food. like, I'm trying so hard not to rage. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I, I, want, I, I want to touch Corinne's shoulder again and, and cast. Guidance again. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. It's uh, it's it's amazing uh what happened because um, you know, we uh we started spreading like wildfire in Mesidia, and before we knew it, we we were needing to uh get pl other places out and other continents. Uh, Darksteel, uh, Ranisha, Kalinfrost, uh, Silthian. So I created the shipping company Valdivian, and uh, but airship travel is was not quite where it was at until uh, your brilliant husband and his two associates uh, helped invent a long-range airship engine. They're, they're quite the geniuses. Uh, this is... I would never have married anyone any less. And This is an amazing hors d'oeuvre! <laughs> and I, I do have to say, I'm going to announce uh, your husband is getting a promotion. Um, he's becoming head of the architect and engineers of my company now. If you'll accept it, James, and uh, that comes with uh, a salary of starting salary of five hundred thousand gold a year. Um, that's not including any bonuses either. The the twenty percent bonuses and all that that happen uh, two times a year. Ah, oh, how how special! No, mm. I figured you'd oh. like that, and um. You know, it's, uh, the, the, the other great thing is, you know, I, I, I'm building factories everywhere to, to making these panacea bottles and we, we've come up with a way that I call instantaneous shipping where one of my wizards or one of my, uh, downlines will go out there. You want to order a panacea in a bottle. They'll talk to one of my wizards in the factory through sending and they'll, teleport it through this machine instantly to you and, and not just the panacea in a bottle almost anything you, you want a common household item like a frying pan there you go you want a plus one sword there you go my goodness what an incredible thing that you have made that are thinking of and, and, and as soon as he so impressed as soon as he says that, um, Vesuvio, after drinking a few bottles, not bottles, a few cups of wine, um, starts... Oh, he drinks he's them fast. Wasted. Yeah. He, he's he, wasted. He, 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 he's a bit slurring his lines, and he's like, he's like, Bexley, we didn't tell him about the environment, what it does, those factories do, did we? Bexley just sort of looks, oh, maybe not in front of the... You know, our, our brilliant architects here, Vesuvio. I'm I'm gonna look at Tellercoast and and like try to and and try to like convey this thought to to like pour more wine for that for Vesuvio. So he gets yeah. more drunk. I'll I'll go up to Vesuvio. Sir, would you like some more? Perhaps uh you know, different choice on the palette, you know, maybe something aside from one of the Chardonnays, if you, or more if you prefer. Whatever you got. Where you got. You got any harder liquor, by the way? Oh, yes, sir. We, we, we can make any drink that you would like. Just let me know. Tequila. Absolutely. Tequila. Absolutely. Um... Are are we ready for the the main courses yet, or uh, are we I'm still? Not, I'm not done talking. I'm not done talking. Of course. I'm not done talking. 
Crypto Donkey. Alright. Um. It's, uh, so, I mean. I'm gonna like, go get the tequila drink. <laughs> um. The, so, like Vesuvia was saying, um, we are having a bit of environmental impact with the factories, but that's not a problem. It's not a problem. You know, um, it's, uh, we have, uh, James actually working on that, figuring out why, uh, wherever we put one of our teleportation machines, um, it starts draining the, the world's ley lines, uh, wherever that factory is placed. Um, so, Oh, that's uh, unfortunate. It's it's part of the one of the reasons why uh, we've started our magic artifact initiative, uh, where we're looking for adventures to find um, magical artifacts for us to help power these teleportation machines. You know. I see. I, I look at my husband and also his colleagues to see how they look, feel about this. They're they're sort of like a little taken aback, like they kind of don't want to say anything. J James is like had the space of I had no idea this was happening. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna bring uh Vesuvio his drink. Okay. Um I I just I brought the whole bottle in case you would like some more. I'll just just let me know when you yeah. would like some. Alright yeah thank you. you're the best. Man. No, no problem. You're 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 a male dwarf but that hair is I take great pride in my hair. Yes, I do. I've never Thank seen you. a male dwarf have good hair like that. No. Keep it up. Keep it up. Thank um, you so much. So there's about 20 minutes left of the Disguise Self spell as well, too, just so you know. Um, as you sort of, like, look at a clock on the wall. <laughs> so... Uh, Bexley's like, okay, we're, we're ready to hear the, the main course now. Um, you know, you, you yes. may proceed. Oh, of course. Um, I, so our options tonight are, uh, basilisk steak and kidney pie, pineapple crusted griffin, pan seared sea bass, phoenix wellington, or we have a vegan option, fey garden salad. Um, so just, yeah, we'll just... Start with you, Mr. Bexley. I'll take the uh, the pineapple crusted griffin. That sounds good. Wonderful. I like pineapple. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, and our sides. I'm so sorry. Um, mash, mashed papatas. Oh, mashed papatas. Yes. I'm so sorry. I'm not from around here. Green beans and steamed vegetables. So uh, you can choose two sides. You, you know, for the sides, uh, get all three, but get two of each for the whole table. That, oh, that way, that way, everybody has whatever sides they want. That's um, an amazing. So we just idea. have to worry about yes. the main course. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Vesuvio says he'll get the basilisk steak and kidney pie. Great. Uh, Thundara is like the pan-seared sea bass. Uh, then the. <laughs> James, Athena, and Marigold, they all get the Phoenix Wellington. Uh, they know I'll take the Phoenix Wellington. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, so, uh, that, 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 that's my story in a nutshell. You know? Um, it's, uh... Oh, it's a very amazing story. You know, like I said, uh, we're looking to hire adventurers to find artifacts. Uh, magical artifacts to help. Uh, well, so I, I, oh, I, I will certainly let people know. Unfortunately, I myself, as I mentioned, I am a full-time mother now. So, oh, uh, J J let's James can be an adventure. That, oh, J James mentioned that you were once an adventurer, just like he was. Oh yes, that was so long ago. But as I say, you know, children are adventure in and of themselves, and I, I feel like. I am more than thoroughly satisfied with looking after my triplets. I I totally understand. I've uh, I've got a bunch of kids myself. Um, I think oh. I've got about eight or nine now. I've got oh. another one on the way. Oh my goodness! How that that's amazing. I do you get to do you get to see your children often? Is that... Uh, not too much. I, I pay all the mothers child support, though, um, to make sure they uh, are well, well taken I... care of. I see. 
you know, it's all. Mm -hmm. It's uh huh. It's you know. What can I say? Um, I would love a little more of this wine, if there's any <laughs> left. <laughs> oh, of course, absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah, the, the only thing they have left now is the Black Lotus Chardonnay. The, they only had the Looks one like bottle of, the, of the, the Mycidian Chardonnay that was wow. aged 100 years. And have been more bored thinking 100 years so, so, so Bexley is, um, you know, drinking some more, and he's like, yeah, well, you know, we're, we're here to celebrate uh, some great things, some great things. It's, um, um, I'm, I'm really excited to... To, to have you all on a board and um, you know I, I do want to make another announcement that Thundara here is uh, going to be promoted from regional upline manager to head of the Panacea Bottle Division I, I can no longer uh, be in charge of it she's going to be the the head of the snake if you will and, and, and she um <laughs> She, she starts, you know, the other people around the table start clapping and um, she, she just says, oh, thank you. Thank you. It's a uh, it's it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Um, if I may say, he's like, no, you may not say um, we're, we're not here to talk about your promotion. We're here to, you know, um, <gasps> to, 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 we're here to discuss um, uh, what, what, what's happening tomorrow. Um, Thadar just sort of has a sour look on her face. Oh. <laughs> um, I want to, I want to go. I, I, I want to, I would have. I also want to go. I also want to leave. I would have put, <laughs> put in the orders, but I want to, I want to go back in and just like, um, take Ariana aside and go out with her. Okay. Oh. Because we're running out of time. I don't know yeah, how much yeah. time is left, but it's it, we're running out of time. Are you yeah. trying so, to do it stealthily, or? Well, I'm just I'm just going in, speaking to her. Okay. You know, just just like a little whisper, like please come out into the hallway with me, and we're going out together. Okay. okay. Like as I'm... if we were going to get the food. I I need her Makes to help sense. me. Makes sense. All right. That so yeah, you you three would walk out and. She, yeah, she'll... I'll, I'll carry like an empty bottle or something to cover my exit. Okay. Yeah. And you all would go to like an empty corner of the restaurant or something where no one's really looking. And yes. And with, with your two heights, uh, Ariana asks you to cover her as she goes in, cast the spell again on both of you, touching both of you. Yes. So she has nine times. So she's done it four times so that way she has five more left okay okay Whew, okay thank you so much Ariana. who this is really stressful um okay this is really terrible everything that we're hearing is really really terrible like i guess we need to find out like where where this stuff is made and where it's being teleported from right yeah the yeah. factory where it's being teleported from and okay it does explain what they want with the statue too that wait what you didn't so oh, the magical items! It. That's yeah. right! Okay, yeah. So we've got to find out where this factory is. That's what we have to find out. That's what really needs to be sabotaged. Okay. All right. Okay, we got to go back in. Okay. Mm. Oh, Ariana, okay, help me with this food. We're, we're, we're going back right. in. Deep right. breaths. Yeah, we got yeah. this. You, you all are carrying the food in and start placing it in front of everybody. Yes. Um, everybody starts eating. Be Bexley is starting to look a little bit more... Um, uh, liquored up, I guess is a good word. And um, Thundara, uh, you know, is sort of lightly eating her meal, and she's all like, she's looking towards James, and with sort of dreamy eyes, and just like, let me tell you, with me, me in charge here, um, <laughs> did, did, they didn't tell you what we're doing here, did they? Um, <laughs> you. you we're going to be opening up rehab clinics here along with a factory to get these people <laughs> off of the Panacea bottle. I need to use the bathroom. I need to use the bathroom. I'll okay, be right back. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Yes. Oh, I get up. There's the bathroom. 
Oh, I yeah, it's, 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 it's right, out, right out, out the door. I just need to go outside. I just I'll need to show go. you where it's at. I'll show you. Yes, right t this way. Tell her, Coast, you're staying in. Yeah, yeah, I'll stay in. It's, it's, so you hear her also say, the, the reason why we're doing this, it's fucking brilliant what Bexley's doing. He's getting tax incentives from local governments for opening up these rehab clinics. It's freaking great. We're going to, you know, will, will, will we be able to help people who have no money because the government's going to be paying us? It'll be subsidized by the taxpayers. It's amazing. It's it's great. Oh, he, he's brilliant. He's a brilliant. He's a genius. I couldn't have thought of that. And so you two are walking out. <laughs> yes, I walk out, um, and I I I'm gone for like a minute because I need to rage. I just rage. Okay, because <laughs> rage lasts rage lasts a minute, right? Rage lasts just a minute, so okay. I'm just I just like. <laughs> okay, let it out, Corinne. Just let it out. I know this is really difficult. Are there like some soft pillows I can scream into? <laughs> just like well, well, lounge well, seating. Oh yeah, you went to the yeah. bathrooms. Yeah, yeah. There's um. There's definitely yeah. a seating area. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Fancy. There's stuff you can punch, like punch Scott. pillows or something, or, or <sighs> scream. Just a lobby out, right? I'm just standing in front of the door, making sure nobody go, nobody else goes in right now. Okay. I'm like, you don't want to go in there. No. Just yeah, there, there's a few ladies there. that do come up. They're hearing uh, no. like the the muffled screaming, like, uh, yeah. Do, do we need to call someone? No, it's fine, but it's it's out of order. So okay. I'm so sorry. There's another there's another one at the other okay. end of the building. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, what are you doing, Corinne? Done. Wash my hands. <laughs> I go back. Okay. <sighs> All right. So as um, as as you're coming back, um, you see Thundara is still trying to flirt with James, but James is just wait. I want to tell Corinne. I want to before okay. Corinne goes back in. I want to say. I, do we need to find out where this factory is that's sending out? Oh, yes, the stuff. One hundred percent. We need okay. to. I, I am. I've got to. I've got to lay it to you straight right now. I'm half tempted to just behead these three people. Like, I, like I, I know we're at a fancy restaurant, but like, oh, we could just, we could just murder them right now. They're so soused up. We wouldn't even be able to fight back. They, I, they might. I mean. I know. If we poison them. <laughs> well, if we poison them, then we're just doing what they do. We, okay. It, well, maybe we don't have to poison them, but I don't know. Is there something you could? Is there like a la like a laxative in, in there that maybe we could like <laughs> put in their drinks to make I'm... them sick? What, that okay. way they can't have the opening tomorrow, and that gives us some time. Okay. Okay. You know what? I've it's done a lot of thought. cooking. I've done a lot of cooking. Um, I know a lot about medicine, so maybe I can go in the kitchen and find something. You know, if you can't, that'd be great. If you can't, that's that's fine too. It'll be okay. Okay, okay. I'm I'm gonna try it so that we don't have to behead these people here tonight. I really would rather. I mean, I'm I'm gonna take that back. I love to behead these people. 100%. I know you would. I know you would. I know you. One hundred percent. Found so much gold. <laughs> But yes, we should. okay. Okay, okay. You go back in. I'm going to the kitchen. Okay, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. We got this. Karen, Karen. Right. As soon as you walk in, you see Thundara is still trying to flirt with your husband, but he's just sort of like stonewalling her. But she just, she she's too drunk to notice any signals. Oh um, no! I I just I I I I exchange a look with my husband, and I think the look says, "Do you need help?" Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just nods, yo. Yo. I, I don't want to get fired, and I don't want to raise any suspicions. I just sit in his lap. Okay. Oh. Perfect. That's a signal. Thundara's got to understand that one. She she sort of goes, uh, oh. oh, you two are together, aren't you? We've established that at the very beginning of this dinner. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember. Sorry. 
Hi, I'm Thundar. We're, we're not that ki- Hi. Unfortunately, we're not that kind of couple, so, uh... Okay. No problem. She, <laughs> she, then she starts talking to Marigold, who is sitting right next to James. Um, so, uh, May, you're going back into the kitchen. You're looking for what exactly? Um... I guess I'm I guess I'm trying to look and see if um there's anything I know of that I could maybe like put in specific people's desserts or something that might make them sick. Uh, I've been cooking for a long time. Yeah, roll me a do investigation. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. You managed to find, um... I don't even know what, but you managed to find something that can make, um... People's stomachs turn sour if you put too much of it in it. Okay. Like some sort right. of ingredient that too much of it, it makes their... You know, they start having some bad reactions one way or another. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna go back into the private party and see if people are ready for dessert. And then when I get their desserts, I'll try. I'll try to put that in the desserts of the bad people. Okay. Okay. Um, so as you come back in, uh, it looks like people are finishing up uh, the main course, and you know Be- Bexley is pretty lubed up at this point. Um, in terms of being pretty drunk, uh, Vesuvio's just pretty much, he, he's gone. He, he drank that whole entire bottle of tequila and he's just... Oh my just, god, what if we just, they're like at our mercy. They're, they're, and Thundara is just now flirting with Marigold right now at this point. Oh, and, okay. um, and Bex I'm, is like, I'm ready for dessert? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, yes. Um, yes, we have, for dessert, we have Wild Magic Parfait, Chilled Gelatinous mm-hmm. Cube, and Chocolate Lava Cake. Uh, I will love the cube. Gelatinous Cube and Lava Cake was like... Oh, love man. the cube. I, I want the Chocolate Lava Cake. Um, Vesuvio Wonderful. and Thundar are like, yeah, me too, me too. Chocolate. Mmm, chocolate sounds Apples so good. Take you got cookies? really want some cookies. Oh, I will check and see if there are any cookies. Vesuvio is yes. also like, you got a pizza as well? Um, I will see what the kitchen can do for us, okay. yes. But br- bring the lava cake first. Yes, of course. Um... The, 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 the others, um, James, Athena, and Marigold, they don't want any dessert. They're too full. And Karen? Okay, great. Just want the cube. Okay. Okay. okay right. So I'll so I'll do that. And everybody who's getting the the lava cake are the bad are the bad folks, right? Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna try to put the visine or whatever in their chocolate lava cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so uh, roll me a. What would be like a cooking check? Survival? Hey, medicine, if you're trying to spike it. Yeah, 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 do medicine, do medicine. Yeah, Yeah. medicine. Okay, great. I'm down with that. Oh, man. 12. 12? Okay. Okay. Um, All right, so so you put it in, you think it's uh, mixed up enough as. And then they cook because the, they cook the the lava cakes fresh, um, and all that. N- no frozen thing. It's too high end of a restaurant. And the the chilled gelatinous cubes are um, just jello, and um, with, with a bit of a tangy taste. And mm-hmm. um, sometimes mm-hmm. you got to pick out some bones in the gelatinous cubes. But um, you know, they're, 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 but but spot, they they, spot. they 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 pre pick the bones out before they chill it. So. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> have you ever seen like uh, art of gelatinous cubes and all that yes yeah, yeah. i was just imba- i thought it was just gonna be a cube but like with a fruit cocktail inside i'm sad now <laughs> no, so um they uh the all the desserts are ready uh you and ariana um 
go and serve them as yes. uh, Tellercoats is still serving wine, as, as they call oh, for. Yeah. <laughs> and, At this um, point, it's especially like, like get a bunch of them. All right, so so before Bexley uh, gets in, like I just want to say this has been a great dinner. Um, y'all are great, and I, I can't wait for you all to see what we have to unveil tomorrow. We're gonna unveil a new factory here in uh, the city, and um, yeah, and uh, I think Thundara kind of spilled the beans of the rehab clinics as well too. We're gonna be doing those and. Um, it's gonna be great. Uh, we, we've got we we not, this this will be our seventh factory in the world, uh, and it's gonna create a lot of jobs, a lot of incentives. Seventh uh, factory. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it, it's great. Um, and, yeah, uh, cheers, everybody. Uh, everyone is like a cheer with the wines or water, whichever drinks you're drinking, and then he goes drinks it, then starts eating the chocolate lava cake. I'm gonna roll. Um. Constitution saving throws for all of them, but with yes. disadvantage. Yes. You're very drunk. Okay. That's Vesuvio. Thundara. And that's the, all right. So as you see them all eating and consuming um, these, uh, right away, they're... they're they're kind of um it, it, at first when they're eating it, it it all tastes very good to them they're like oh mom, mom, mom. they just keep eating it it's almost like addictive in a sense and then as they finish it they all sort of like sit back and about a few minutes goes by they're like oh god and, and with the alcohol and with what you put in that that you put a little bit too much in um since you you didn't properly measure out you know enough and it just makes Vesuvio, Bexley, and Thundar all keel over and pass out. Um, okay. This, so they're unconscious? Yeah, and, and Marigold, Athena, and James, like, all stand up like, uh, what, what do we do? Okay. <clears throat> um, everybody, it's fine. I'm uh, a cleric, so don't worry about it. And I thought you were a, a, a servant or waiter. No. Well, yes, of course, but I'm still also a cleric. It's a disciplinary. What an amazing thing. Wow. Uh, um, hang on, hang on. Who, who isn't in on it that's still in that room and not unconscious? Well, Marigold and Athena aren't really in on it. They just... But they... They don't really know anything because James didn't want to involve them with. Yeah, yeah. We should like ask that. them to just go ahead and leave while we we call a doctor or something. Uh, roll yeah. persuasion. I'm gonna check. watch. A, okay, yeah. Persuasion. Can I help. Yes. Please help. We'll help you. I give you the help action. Thank you. Ah, twenty one. Yeah. So so with with advantage, getting a twenty one, you do manage to to get them out of the room, both of them out of the room. Great. And, and they're just gonna... They're, they're just gonna walk out. They're, they're gonna we'll get some air. We'll take care of them. They'll be fine. Yes, we're... Don't we worry, we have some coming. We will definitely take care of them. Take care of them. Yes, no problem. Okay, Corinne, what do you want to do? What do you want to do right now? I have, to, I have to go back with them, but as soon as we get them settled, come back. Should we just, should we just tie them up or something? Yes, we should tie them up. We should tie them up and then, I don't know. Uh, let's, I'm going to look at, maybe we just send them down the river into the sea? Like, what if we just hire, like, a boat to, like, put them out into the ocean? And it's like, no. fine. Just put them in a canoe with no paddles. Woo! No paddles, just like, boom. So, player knowledge remember that Vesuvio is a wizard and you do know that he does have the ability to teleport and stop time. Do we... Ah. Do we do something about Vesuvio right, right now? now? Oh, Thundara God. and... It feels very... But like... you, you don't know... You, you do know that Bexley did tell you he was a wizard 
but mm -hmm. he, he didn't tell you like if he's still practicing how right you know how powerful he was yeah. he just said he was really good at potions right um and you you don't know anything about thindara like if no. she's a magic user fighter none of that you don't know anything Ugh, i don't know what should we what should we do should we just stab him in the face i mean we, i'm all we, about peace but they disturb it we we can make vesuvio disappear send the other two on their way under the guise of like oh you were feeling poorly and then oh vesuvio never returned like what happened and then we could come back to the rest of them because we still don't know about those factory locations like seven of them but I know. vesuvio i mean it's Vesuvio. He's... I so. know. Well, I guess, is teleport... Uh, do we play with things like... Are we playing with, like, verbal and somatic components? Like, to spell casting in this game or not? I'm just wondering. It, it, it's... The, the way magic works is the same way it's as written in the school... In the... In the player's handbook. Like, it's verbal, gotcha. somatic, materials. Okay. So, in that case... We could just gag him and tie his hands up. Well, I feel feel really icky. I think Heredina doesn't feel like she can just. I think we're. I think she's generally lawful good. So I feel icky about like doing stuff to them mm -hmm. in this position. But it's I, true. I also it's, feel like it's not. But they're. But we know they're but bad. I, but I do feel like if we at least. Oh gosh, like tie them up and put them in a boat and make it really difficult to like uh, get out of those bindings. Like that buys us time. That's my thought. Like just to just to put them somewhere <laughs> over there. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> or, so how could we do? How could I'm, we get them out of here? Oh, there. right, yeah. None of us didn't know teleport, I assume. Well, um, there's we three of them. How many rugs are in this in this restaurant? Um, there would be two long ones on either side of each side of the table, and then two shorter ones, um, going on the other I, side. I say that we hire I, okay well i'm not there but my thought as a player is like you wrap them up in the we wrap them up in the carpets we hire a cab and we tie them up first then we hire a cab and then we put those rugs like on a boat and then we just let that boat go out to sea we hire a someone just like these are cursed rugs we're just sending them out into the ocean I mean, that's my thought but i'm i'm more than willing to listen to other ideas i i am like feel i do feel really weird about like just straight up murdering them in this state. i know it's, Our... it's it's such a great opportunity but you are 100 percent correct about like yeah are we Man. actually near water we we are near... i was looking at the i was looking at the map and it looks like there's a river mm -hmm. that yeah, we could like have... We'd have to hit the the military outpost ish bridge is, is the only thing in order to be close. Yeah, that, that would be the closest river, would be the military outpost. And then the way you know then the other bridge where it's the more common area bridge. Um and then there's also, if you're looking at the map, you know, there's the gates out here that then lead out to the ports as well too. Yeah, but getting all the way over there with Three very heavy rugs. And, and remember, you are if right hire here a cab. as well. Mm -hmm. You hire so, a cab. That would we, make it easier. We can definitely get a carriage, yes. And Ariana does have some disguised selves left. I don't know how that works. Do you have to be willing? Yeah, it, it has okay. to be a willing thing. Okay. I mean, we can try it. It seems sort of sketch but hey why not I mean, the thing too is like if they go missing though what might happen ariana speaks up it's like should we just cut off vesuvio's hands 
Um. Uh, she, she, I, I, she, she takes out her, her knife. Her, her oh, dagger. Hey, hey, whoa, hey. Whoa, hang wait. on, but... Whoa, whoa. Not Group a, decision. Group yeah, decision. Yeah, yeah. Not a, not a bad idea. <laughs> We'd have to have... Like, for Vesuvio to still be alive, but handless is a whole other complicated thing to figure out. But... I mean, I, I can cut his hands off and then just cast Firebolt on his open wounds to cauterize him so he doesn't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's not that... for this conversation. I just want to let everyone know. Wait, what happened? Well, Karen is not in the room for this conversation. <laughs> she had to leave with her husband and the other people in order to put up a good front. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I'm not like there. I can advise as a player, but not as a, as my character. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I yeah, I thought you. Yeah, I, I thought left, just um, just... Marigold and Athena left. I. Yeah. Oh, if Mary, if only Marigold and Athena left, I turn to James and just say like, okay, what, what do you think we should do? Should we just? I mean, I I think straight up murder seems kind of not great. Yeah, but... and and we don't know what will happen like if Bexley dies i mean that could be bad but Vesuvio, we're, we... we're the last ones who people know that he was with too right true well what if we just leave them in a very compromising position and that's public maybe is a better idea like naked or something maybe what if we just undress them is there like a local fountain we can, like, leave them naked in the fountain in compromising positions. Yeah, maybe they'll get, like, naked. arrested. And Ariana's, like, cut, cut off their hands? No, no I... we're not cutting off anyone's hands. At least what the if, wizard. What if what if Vesuvio lost one? He'd still Something, be able to cast so we, magic. We include some part of it that's, like, a horrible accident, and... Right, do you want to neuter the wizard or not? I can cut off both his hands right now. I don't Catarize think we want to do that. I no. don't think we want to do that, Ariana. Well, it's our funeral. It's, it's good. It, it's, 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 I, I see the value in theory. It's it's hard to make that make sense or feel right. As much as I... Suvio. Ugh. I know, right? I don't like him, but I'd rather defeat him honorably on the field of combat. But at least mm -hmm. we can, we she, can she, make she life at least... She puts her dagger away. Like, okay. Thank you. All right. Well, let's undress these people and then put them in a compromising and public situation. <laughs> okay, yes, that's fine. Do we, can we, do you all want me to like run outside and see if I can see any, like, any fountain or whatever, like you mentioned, where we could just throw them in? Well, and before you do that, uh, that'd be a perfect place to end it for the night. Oh, okay. They are knocked okay. out, and now you got to figure out a way to get them out and okay. publicly humiliate them. We're definitely going to publicly humiliate them. <laughs> yeah, I think public humiliation is better than just. And then when they me. when they wake oh, up, we will oh. defeat them in combat. When they wake up, you just straight up murder them. <laughs> we they, I, they'll have a chance though. I'm feeling like Telekos might like step extra hard on Vesuvio's other arm somewhere in this process of. I mean, what if he breaks? Oh. Like, if we just break his hands, I think yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah, it's like just yeah. like double cast yeah. it. Sure. Yeah, yeah, because he does have one arm broken right now. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's... Break okay, we got a plan. We got a yeah, plan. Yeah, we got yeah. it. Yeah, I think this this feels this right. feels a little bit more lawful. This is a great place to end it. That was fun. That was a lot of good role playing. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was I, so stressful. I I, I, I tried stressful. I tried to do my best muskrat impersonation <laughs> for Bexley. Log muskrat. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Does anyone see that episode of um, Crap Shot by <laughs> Loading Ready Run? No. Yes, yes, I'll I did. I'll link you. I'll I was trying to remember face. where it was I heard that, but yeah. Bird. <laughs> no, so that was fun. Thank, thank you to my players for that. That was a lot of good role playing there going on. A lot of yeah. um, a lot of stuff revealed as to as to 
the whole MLM and everything behind it. Oh my it. goodness. Yeah, the whole, the, just the whole plan. The environmental place. impact that the factories Ugh. are having. Ugh. And how... So hard not to just... I know. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 was, I was trying really hard to like... You see, ha see how far I could Rin. push. <laughs> yes, you were very much so. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. I, I, I wanted to see. Because well, I wrote down like everything, like what he's been doing, and like why he's doing it, and all that. Mm. And I was just seeing at what point would, you know, Corinne yeah. start to just be like, I'm just going to kill you now. <laughs> no, but she that was it together. No, yeah, 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 it was great. It was fun to, yeah. to resist yes. the urge to just do them in right there. Oh, I know. <laughs> the poisoning worked too well. Um, yeah, yeah what, they, so they, they all like roll like nat ones. No, so if I was rolling with advantage, they all would have passed. But at, but since it was at disadvantage and them being drunk, like all the dis the the low numbers were. Nothing was above a five, oh, but 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 nice. the but the other dice were like seventeen and up. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! So it's like like total opposites. Yeah, that's, that's so wild. it was great. It was awesome. great. Well, thank you again to my players for playing. Uh, let's go around the table real quick. Uh, do some shout outs, starting with uh, Michelle. There, I um I've been Michelle Rap playing Karenina. Um. Bandaged, but looking bodacious <laughs> uh, yes. during this dinner. Um, you can find me on Twitter at KilnFeedPotter. Um, and I, you can also find, like, sometimes I do collaborations with Lonely Writing Run. Uh, but, yeah, I'm mostly just, like, chilling for a little bit as I... Um, so, yeah, you'll see me next time here. And if you can't find me um, on social media, then you can always tune back into Price of Progress. So, uh... Thank you. Thank you, Pixie. Yeah. Hi, I am Pixie Kitten, and um, I can be found on Twitter at PKP underscore magic, but I haven't been super active lately because I went through a big move, and then as soon as I moved, I got COVID, so that really sucked, but I'm doing better now, and I finally tested Yay. negative. Yay! Nice. Yay. Yay! Nobody else got it. Yay! Nice. nice. So more content soon, maybe? Yeah, awesome. maybe. We'll see. All right. And last but not least, Tony. Yeah, so I'm Tony, Baltan2. I'm Baltan2 on Twitter and oh, what, everywhere, I guess. Um, and um, yeah, so usually I just tend to show up on some of the other things, collaborating with the wonderful Zuby or Pixie Kin, but um, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I, I got nothing else. Yeah, <laughs> Good people I, as yeah. always. I appreciate yeah. playing with all of you and getting a chance to um, join in on this awesome little campaign. So uh, it's yeah. been it's been great yeah. DMing you all. Um, yeah, it's been great playing you. with you. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Zuby. Thank you, and I'm your dungeon master, Zuby, and hope you all have a great night. All right, thank you again. Bye. Bye. Bye.